Podcast. The only anime podcast that's killed Moth again. Again, I say. I'm your host, English Mike. Uh, and uh, I'm going to ask that you all, please, if you enjoy the free funny, uh, subscribe to our Patreon. That's uh, patreon.com slash wehateanimepodcast. Uh, joining me, as always, is uh, the Frog King. I, I, I am in very much pain today. <laughs> Shut up. I'm the one who has the feminine shot in the arm. Oh, that's true. Uh, and uh, also joining us is a special guest, Sudoku. Uh, it's not hello. that special. I'm, I'm here to uh, introduce classism to the podcast by owning both an air fryer and a PlayStation 5. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, you piece <laughs> of shit. Get the shit. fuck out of here. <laughs> who did you have to fucking kill to get an air fryer air and fryer. a PS5? What's next? A fucking soda stream? Oh, all right. <laughs> Wow, Doku, your wife lets you have a PS5 and, and an air fryer. fryer. <laughs> Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. Uh, what is with this fucking... What, what's with the meme of the air fryer? I don't fucking get it. Air fryers <laughs> are good. <laughs> they are good. My parents have one. I used it for a long time. They're just microwaves with a fan. No, in. no, they're No, better. they're not. <laughs> they're actually... No, like, unironically, air fryers are pretty dope. Air fryer hot pocket changes your life. Literally, if you just have anything like frozen, just shove it in your air fryer, and it'll make it like way better. Like you've you've never had a crispy hot pocket. You don't understand. I have had. I, I know how to properly cook a hot pocket. I've had a not in the pocket. oven. I'm you talking. You just shove air like fry. freezer fries into a fucking air fryer, and for like thirty minutes, and they'll be perfect. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's good shit. You go, you go to Sam's Club. You get the chicken nuggets. That Sam's tastes Club. Like this fucking guy. Sam's Club. <laughs> this motherfucker. Bougie, you bougie bitch. <laughs> my mom got me a Sam's Club membership for my birthday. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. <laughs> fucking yeah, yeah. Inheritance uh, yeah. Looking ass. I have a mom who loves me, and 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 I, and I go <laughs> and I visit them on the weekends and have dinner with them and do laundry because like <laughs> I have a familial situation that's functional. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, then again, that's also Frog, but fuck Frog too. Fuck you both. Hey, man, that's not cool. I don't have an air fryer yet. <laughs> All I have is a waffle iron. <laughs> it's a ninja air fryer too. Yo! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was, I'm sorry. When you say ninja, please don't. Please tell me you don't mean the streamer. I don't mean <laughs> <No>. the streamer. <laughs> Nin- Dude, can you imagine if you were just, if you, if Ninja brought his own like got his own brand of air fryers? Holy shit! Just spray painted blue. <laughs> just blue air fryers, but like with like the, his hair is on it. His hair is on the end of it. I don't want. I already. I already get my f- hair and food. I don't want ninja's hair in my food. Yeah, that's one thing. I started growing my hair out recently, and no one. Pog? No one warned me that the hair just gets in fucking everything now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's until he does. <laughs> I, this is also should, like my uh, first time. Look, I, uh, if you've seen a picture of me, anyone recently, you'll know why my hair is big now, and yeah. um. And if you've seen a picture of me, you know I'm a fat bitch, but also that I have beautiful hair. You do yeah. see beautiful hair. It's dark hair too. It's nice. You have a nice beard yeah. company. It's like it's like a good like mix. Okay, my beard is not nice. It's actually very thin and terrible. But yeah, uh, accompanies your hair really well. Yes, thankfully. That's the meanest uh, thing you've ever said to him. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you just said it was mean and terrible. You said it accompanies your hair really well. Uh, that was not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh that's <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Any, any who's, any who's. I almost said whoozle because I'm fucking uh, the the Moderna's uh, degenerating me back into my fucking weird uh, 2014 stage of of being a good boy, where I say shit like any whoozle. Uh, God, I was really gay back then. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what happened? Uh, I I learned what a vagina was. Damn. Based. Uh, yeah, based in sexism. <laughs> Fuck women. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, you don't, bitch. You're right, I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, you fuck non-binary vagina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, this is the return of once. We Hate Anime. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, bro? <laughs> I, I had, I, I had a, a previous girlfriend. 
Okay, listen. If you want, we can we can talk about personal shit. I'm glad. I'll I'll be glad to to to, to put you out there. But let's not. Let's let's not. <laughs> I, 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 can, I can fucking own you with facts and logic right now, and you know it. You don't want to step up right now. There's no logic that can get behind my massive dong. <laughs> yeah, because you don't fucking think, bitch. Yeah. This is a dumb... <laughs> this, is a, this is a terrible bit. Let's, go, let's continue. <laughs> New bit. <laughs> New, New bit. bit. <laughs> uh, 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 Doku, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Uh, hello, my name is Sudoku. Uh, That's a crazy name. Where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. Are you Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> um, I play fighting games. You can follow me on Twitter at SudokuFGC. I also stream. I've been streaming Danganronpa. Uh, uh, and oh, so <laughs> at twitch.tv slash Sudoku5. Just a terrible, terrible time. It's a good hey, game. I've been playing the Resident <laughs> Evil one. What? <laughs> Wait, the Resident Evil Danganronpa? Wait, Ultra what? Despair Girls. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that is just Resident Evil 4. I was really confused for a second. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, yeah, Frog, if you wanted to play Danganronpa, play uh, the, 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 the the Despair Girls, because it's literally just that Resident Evil 4. That would be fucking insane that's the only one you've played. <laughs> <laughs> just, ju- just jump into the child murder one. I mean, I have played Resident Evil 4. Well, this is the sequel. Damn. Yeah. All right. I thought they're, they're in the same. They're in the same cinematic universe. Resident yeah. Evil Four Two. Final Fantasy yeah, uh, Thirteen Three. I've been. Uh, I've been. I've been friends, uh, acquaintances with Doku on Twitter for a while, and uh, he was he was uh, streaming that they're uh, Dangan Rampers, and I jumped in, and I was so impressed by how unfunny and lame he is. <laughs> But I was like, I need to put him on my podcast right now so that I look competent in comparison. I appreciate you... it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought as well, what's the best way to bring him onto the podcast? <laughs> I know. I'll make him suffer through 20 different anime uh, <laughs> shows. Uh, That's and right, baby. This, this gauntlet finally of bullshit. <laughs> To be fair, I enjoyed, I think, most of these. On uh, some I wouldn't level. say most. I'd say maybe about, I'd say I maybe enjoyed about a third of them. But it's, it's, it's more than usual, so, I mean. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, d- d- this is this is literally your your hell week, your hazing. Because a, a normal seasonal is like maybe ten shows. And oh my god. <laughs> this this season is like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Everything looked either like pretty good or, like, laughably bad. I don't have anything... Oh, well, actually, that's not quite true. There's a couple things that I'm really excited about, but only, like, two, and they're sequels, so... Yeah, uh, the... I, I will say this. Uh, we have a rule on the podcast, and it's not broken very often, and it's that on a seasonal, we don't usually talk about uh, second seasons. And uh, I did break it this time because there's two, technically three, second seasons that I care about. Uh, but we're not going to be talking. Don't don't fucking at us being like, hey, what did you fucking think about my hero uh, Cuckadamia? I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, I I don't know if you saw uh, me on Twitter, but I uh, I am I'm, t- I'm I'm hate sexy. I I don't I don't <laughs> I fucking hate. That was a anime, weird arc. Bitch. <laughs> You had to, you, ever, you just kind of went on like a like a rampage on your own like uh, you, just had, you were on some weird shit that day. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, what, 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 what? It would be really funny if I made a joke to like promote the podcast." Oh, I know. Why don't I uh, copy this weird Star Wars thread from like uh, two years ago? It yeah. was very no moth one cares about it. it was weird. <laughs> it was pretty moth core. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I can be like moth if I want to be. It's just I, I don't hate. I, I hate fewer minorities than moth. <laughs> Which are the ones that you do hate? So the first anime we're going to talk about this season <laughs> is is a little show called Svistis. It's actually just Sestis. Sest, I think it's Sestis. Yeah, it's Sestis. But because like it it's is, a Roman U, it's, it looks like a V. Oh, okay, it's it is. It, it is Sestis. It's 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 the, the 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 name of the wrappings they use in the fight. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's it, Sestis is like a, this is I know I know that from Dark Souls. Wait, is it? I just thought it was yeah. a dude's. Ca- I thought it was a dude's name. I think it also no. is his name. Yeah, is it not? It's his name. 
I don't fucking care. The show's bad. <laughs> Moth put that's it on why the list. First. He's not even fucking here to talk about it. <laughs> that's uh, why it's last. Or I watched it. Whatever. It's not gay enough. I uh, didn't watch it. I didn't care enough. It's it's so apparently it's it just gayer. I don't listen. Okay, the first episode was already it was gay enough that I knew it was gay, but not gay enough that I could enjoy it. Yeah, it's uh the. So, the first episode is mostly 2D animation, and I found out yesterday, because I have a friend who's been, like, watching it and recently dropped it. He's like, yeah, there's, like, a time skip a few episodes in, and it's just all CGI after that. Yeah, they were just waiting to get into the CGI parts. They're like, wait a minute, wait till they see this. (laughs) Then they're gonna be pogged up, the viewers at home. So, your friend was like, yo, what's this? A show with 2D backgrounds and a terrible CG model for a main character? Based time skip it's all cg i i can't get <laughs> off to this. i can't get off to cg children damn yeah the show's fucking trash next it's not good <laughs> next is uh i think this is the worst show i think hold on i have the big i have to double check the yes list. yes this is the, the worst next show, show is combatants will be dispatched this is bad this is so bad i like snow can you tell i put all the ones i didn't watch first <laughs> Combatants Will Be Dispatched is literally, what if Konosuba, but science fiction instead of fantasy, and also boring, and not funny. What the fuck was the first, like, couple minutes? (laughs) I have no clue. So, uh, Frog, the very, the the first couple minutes of this fucking show, it takes place after the Earth has already been conquered by an evil organization, and the main character is, like, a general in that organization, and there, there's no, like, there's no world building, no establishing of characters. It's just like, this is your guy. You know him, right? Anyway, here's these two Onisans. One of them's a Sundari. Anyway, get in the tube with the lolly with the shotgun and go to this fantasy world and, and, and star ocean it. It's so fucking bad. I've, it would have been better if it had been revealed, like, oh, yeah, they're, like, playing an MMO. And it would have been way better. <laughs> that would, if I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. I, I honestly do not know how you take a show and you're like, huh, I know. What if we did a show where, like, the uh, we, we give a lolly a fucking shotgun? That part was cool. And then and then you take that and you make it bad? Yeah. Go fuck yourself. That 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 that's a winner. Like a lot of things we're gonna talk about with this season, that's a winning concept that fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> It, I say I liked I liked the character Snow because I liked her design and that was it. I don't even fucking remember any of the characters. The guy who made Informer. What? Listen, don't out yourself of being Canadian, okay? <laughs> I I don't need I don't need people to know <laughs> is that express- your nationality. Is that expressly a Canadian thing? I was trying to find, figure out how that was a reference of Final Fantasy thirteen. <laughs> F- shut up, Doku. What? what? There's a character named I mean, Snow now in we Final got Fantasy fucking thirteen. Doku. Doku referencing Final Fantasy. Like, there's finally people on the podcast other than me that plays those games. Hell yeah. Uh, and then Frog over here referencing Canadian failed rappers that are in prison. <laughs> Is he in prison? I didn't know that. Yeah, for like tax evasion. It's not even a cool crime. <laughs> he was the whitest guy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, uh, not white people, in fact, not the opposite of white people, we're talking about anime. Wave the house husband. <laughs> Uh, is the next fucking show on the list. So, Jesus Christ. This one has a pretty good manga, actually, right? I mean, that's why yes. I like it anyway. I love it. I'm, like, completely caught up in this problem yeah. pain. Tell me more about, about this uh, this manga that you like that got a slideshow uh, <laughs> representation. Uh, it's about this ex-Yakuza uh, member who uh, quits the Yakuza and uh, just becomes a house husband. And it's great. It's really wholesome. I love it so much. The anime still has the good writing, so the the writing is still there. Uh, Unfortunately, it bl- br- it just flies by all the writing in about ten <laughs> fraction of a, of a second. Uh, it's it has less animation than Cromartie High School. <laughs> <laughs> There's the thing. It, they they explicitly said it was like a motion comic, right? Okay, like, okay, 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 fine. But like, even the stills in the motion comic aren't drawn well. Nothing's no. drawn well in this. Um, the dub's good because they don't have to match lip flaps. <laughs> they say not. fuck in the dub, so that's good. 
Wild. <laughs> w- w- excuse me? They fuck in the dub? No, they say the word fuck in the dub. Let's go! <laughs> the... That's based. I mean, what more do you need? Uh, maybe something good, but, I mean, we can't have everything. You know, they're short episodes, so that's good. <laughs> I, I, I watched, like, maybe six minutes of this, uh, and I was, like, overwhelmed by how... Uh, what is JC Staff doing? <laughs> yeah. Just watch the live action series. Is there a live action series? There's a live action series. Just watch that. Is it okay? I mean, I'm actually that sounds actually like it'd be a decent way to convey that. So yeah, it's good. Uh, they gave them a daughter, so so Why? that's interesting. I don't know, but it's good. Oh, uh, I I don't know enough about how sub husband to say if that's a good or, or if that's a value add or if that's a negative. It's like Spy X Family now. Uh, I mean, does, is there enough is there enough action in a way of the house husband for it to be like Spike's family? I have not no. read Spike's family. <laughs> Spike's family is re- read Spike's family instead of Way of the House Husband. That's a good manga. Hey, I mean, Way of the House Husband is probably pretty good too. I haven't read it myself, but it's great. I love it. Uh, the next show is one that I liked until I watched more than two episodes of it. Oh, uh, like Drawn this? Princess. <laughs> Light past tense frog. It was pretty. Pay attention. <laughs> I just got bored as soon as it started. <laughs> uh, Joran, princess of snow and blood. It's about a lady, uh, I think, and she's uh, a demon, I guess. Yeah. No, she's a type. She's she's a like. Eh, she's like kind of supposed to be a Yukioni, but also a Dulahan, but also a, a, a ghoul. I wish she wasn't it's, so fucking boring. <laughs> She just doesn't emote ever, and uh, she just kind of is a bitch the whole time, and I didn't watch it more than ten minutes of the show. The uh, the first episode had two people fucking, so that was good. There was people fucking, but then the fu- person fucking the guy just killed him for no reason, so that was cool. Well, they're like spies, I think? Yes. Yeah. Actually. They're, they're, they're basically like uh, Imperial Japanese police, like, but not like, but not like, like, official police, like, like KGB police. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not very good. No. It reminds me a lot of like mid two thousand seinen anime, <laughs> like uh, Speed Grapher, which is something <laughs> I, I, I only I have seen. Uh, but it's not as it's not as like edgy as Speed Grapher, so it's not as good. It's pretty. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. it looks it looks fine. <laughs> the art the art was really good. Uh, I want I would enjoy getting stepped on by the uh, the skull lady, but it uh, looks fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I kept watching, and there's really not much more to say. Uh, it pretty much wraps itself up in four episodes. That's uh, why we not a good way. That's why we put these ones at the start. Yeah. Um, what's next? Uh, oh yeah, the one that all the fucking Nazis are going to start putting in their profile pictures. Well, actually, they're upset about it because of the translation. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There, there's at least there's at least one non-Nazi with the Nagator, Nagatoro uh, PFP on Twitter that seems pretty okay. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and that's the show we're talking about. Nag, 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 uh, what is the full fucking name? Nagator. No, uh, please don't bully me, Nagatoro son. Nagatoro. This show was made for like. This is okay. I get it. Listen, there there are <laughs> there, there are a lot of fuck. Shut the fuck up, Doku. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of like words that are turned into buzzwords uh especially from people who are left leaning so i i do do i just want to have this said uh i'm not meaning this in any exaggerated way uh nagatoro is an incel anime <laughs> it's, it's it's like it's it's like uh i i can't speak about the writer man but like the just the first episode was so insufferable to watch. I'm fairly like, certain the writer was this once a uh, uh, doujin writer, which is not like uncommon in the manga sphere, but yeah. It's it's what Moff thinks Chainsaw Man is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait! He's cracked the code! <laughs> Hire this Holy man, f- Nintendo. <laughs> god damn it, <laughs> Oh, man, it's just, it's so fucking, it's so rough to watch this show, and to see this dude who's just living his life, and this fucking cunt just <laughs> swoops in, and is like, hey, I'm gonna ruin your life for a little bit, okay? And people are like, yeah, it's queen! <laughs> Fuck you! I hate it so much. I get it. There's, there's, there's gotta be a shit ton of dojins of him hate-fucking the shit out of her, right? Oh, yeah. 
Oh no, there's not. Yeah. I've seen the Dogens. It's all like BDSM, and he's getting a fucking or cuck. Tons of there's so much NDR Nagatoro <laughs> fucking porn. Oh no, so much. He deserves to hate fuck her in the Dogens, dude. He earns <sighs> it. He does. If you if you like this show, seek therapy, dude. <laughs> Please touch fucking grass. <laughs> it's 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 pretty. I, know, I thought it was watch. fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not good. I mean, I, I honestly, I read a little bit of the manga before. I think it's a lot better. I don't think it's much. I don't think it's that much of value, but I think it's better to read than to watch. That's all I can say. I mean, at least it's not the webtoon in which uh, the webtoon is literally just abuse porn. There's a webtoon. The webtoon? Yeah, it's the original. <clears throat> Damn, I didn't oh. know that. It's it, God. It's, fuck Nagatoro. If you like Nagatoro, I hate you. <laughs> I think you're okay, depending on the type of person you are. <laughs> if I you like Nagatoro, you're probably not someone that I want to If you like Nagatoro, you probably uh, didn't need to go in. <laughs> you probably, you're probably a trad really bad, Yeah, exactly. You got there before I could. Doesn't Moth like Nagatoro? I have no idea. Listen, I finally remember he him probably doesn't. That seems like the thing he'd actually despise. Okay. Uh, we we're gonna. He's gonna listen back to this and be like, "Oh, these are fucking pieces of shit." I assume I would like this. No, I like the next show, Koi Toyobu, the show that's just pedophilia. No, no, no. no. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hold on. But it's also it's just Sexual Harassment Simulator 2021. Oh, uh, this show's going to get someone in a restraining order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Witness the story about, about a, a young 26-year-old trying to fuck a 17-year-old who's still in high school and uh, doesn't stop sending her flowers and then po- annoying her every single day of her life despite her telling her to stop. Yeah, it's... Hey, hey, it's legal in Japan. <sighs> um, Germany from Italia needs to, to get a restraining order. Because it's... <laughs> I've never seen Italia. Does he look like that guy? He looks like Germany. <laughs> Damn. Uh, also, he, he, he to be looking like Germany. Uh, I, I watched it today. The audio sounded weird. I didn't get that. Okay. I guess it might weird. be on your end. Maybe you're, you're, you're yeah, maybe totally you're 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 weird, bitch. You're totally not pirated cut rip of whatever you watched there was. I watched weird. it on Crunchyroll. Fuck you. We don't... We don't... Listen. If you're gonna be supporting the official release, it needs to be Blu-ray DVDs. Spend a thousand dollars to get five episodes. Look, the only shows I downloaded were the ones that were only on Netflix. Because I wasn't downloading. This guy has an air fryer and isn't buying the DVD. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Fucking Doku's like, yeah, I support the official release. Watch his country roll. (laughs) (laughs) God, okay. I don't even know how to transition to the next one. Fucking... Ugh. A good uh, show. Mom put this on the list because... Okay, so wait. Uh, uh, we didn't stream the, the Anime Awards this year. We did last time. We didn't stream it. We just did it. But we did watch it together. And this was a trailer there, right? I believe it was there? Yes. This trailer was fucking something else. <laughs> yeah, all the marketing for this show has been really bad. It's terrible. Uh, it's, it's like... It's like not an action-heavy show. It's very dialogue-heavy. So their trailer consisted of silent footage. Um, <laughs> oh, no. of people talking, which is like okay. Um, uh, the show we're talking about is Tokyo Revengers. That's correct. And okay, I'll, I'll, I you know I'll be upfront. I don't love it, but it's not as terrible as I thought it was gonna be. No, I this I was loop like kind of lukewarm on it. Yeah, until the yeah. very end of the first episode, and then I was interested. <laughs> I was a little more interested by the end of the first episode as well, but the first, the, the entire, the first 23 out of 24 minutes are like, uh. <laughs> and I've, I've heard nothing but like good things about the rest of the show. So I'll I mean, I don't know. I'll, 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 tra- I'll give it a shot, but I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. Maybe necessarily. We'll see how it goes. Like so it. this anime is fucking cheeks. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. This is a bad, it's so fucking boring and uninteresting. Like, it's, it's, oh my god. Like, for, for Moth, like a fucking asshole, is like, it's, Moth fucking said. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm losing brain cells tr- remembering. He says it's Steins Gate, but good. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't even, it's not even comparable. No, it's not, it has one, it has two elements in common, which is time travel, and then. A dead bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it, that's all it's got. 
Everything else, uh, well... The, the fucking, the girl he goes back and... Like, listen, okay, I just, I just... I, listen, okay, this dude is obsessed with uh, a memory of a 14-year-old girl. It's Based? fucking weird, dude! <laughs> That's fine. Oh, it's fine. Fuck yeah. no, it's not, dude. It's not. He doesn't even. He, in the episode, he doesn't even remember her face. He's just like, but I gotta see her. I, I gotta see. Okay, the, oh, the, 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 it's not a good context, but the context is that he's had a shitty life except for meeting that having her, his girlfriend that one time. Yeah. <laughs> so of course he cherishes the memory. This is one good memory. Yeah, his, yeah. His one good memory. He's been jerking off for like twenty years, thinking about his fuck, uh, fucking fourteen year old. It's fucking weird. He literally didn't think about her until he went back in time. That's not true. Yeah. Because he did. Yeah, he he didn't think about her until she died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. That that makes that makes it that makes it go from uh, uh, fucking uh, bad to based. Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not good. It's just like not terrible. Uh, I like the character it's... designs. Yeah, I, I don't like the color design. Uh, it's just My Hero Academia designs, but with square eyes. No, okay, so <laughs> I really don't like the way the main character looks in the past. He's fine in the present. He past, the past he looks like a fucking dummy. But yeah, like does. the the <clears throat> the the gang members, like his friends, the way they look as adults, I really like their designs. They're they're not in the first episode at all. <laughs> oh, I have not seen anything past the first episode. I watched yeah. a single episode of almost all these shows. They're in the opening. Uh, which oh, okay. plays at the I end. I also did not the watch the episode. opening. Also, the opening's really good. It's by uh, official uh, Hige Danism, which is a band I like a lot. <laughs> All right, Sounds like it's by a bunch of cucks, because this show's four cucks by cucks. <laughs> Fuck this show. <laughs> Speaking of four cucks by cucks, do we want to transition to the next one? <laughs> good, good, job, good job, Doku. You did it. You, tra- you did, tra- I you did, did it. a little transition. <laughs> uh, Babies for a segue. Why are we bullying Doku so much? Because <laughs> Doku's it's a first time guest, uh, and you're you're gonna be a fucking reoccurring guest. Yeah. And I have to bully you until you're comfortable performing like a little fucking circus animal. Now tell now dance, Piggy. Tell me about how shit Eden Zero is. It was surprisingly okay. What? Go oh, on. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, oh. no, it was bad. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I was I, I was actually I, I'm not gonna lie I saw the thumbnail and I was like oh I mean I like the character designs and then that was that's as bad as far as my crows go <laughs> they're the same character designs he's been using for twenty years I, okay I haven't watched Fairy Tale or Rave Master so God damn I would rather watch Rave Master and Rave Master gives me migraines I was told because I, I I was talking to my friend and I was like yeah Eden Zero is on is on the list and he was just like just watch Rave Master and pretend and just kind of bullshit your way through. <laughs> Don't even do that. All you all you have to do is listen to the American OP of Rave Master, because it's by fucking Plenty of Fish. It's a fucking ska bop. It's awesome. That's great. <laughs> I literally have it memorized. It's one of my favorite songs. Fucking... Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal with Eden Zero. It's just Star Ocean. That's all it is. It's just Star Ocean. If you know what Star Ocean is, you're like, oh, okay, I know what Eden Zero is. Don't watch it. Go play your favorite Star Ocean game if you have one. If you don't have one, uh, that's okay. No one plays Star Ocean except for me. I don't play Star Ocean, so this is true. It's, uh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's not good. Don't watch it. Um, it's only on Netflix, so you can't watch it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has Netflix. Well, it's not yeah. out in the States yet. I didn't watch it. I, I, was, I mean, I'm not in the States. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not whatever. Out, it sucks. It's not it's out like, in Japan. It's like a kid. Oh man, I, I love it. Like it just it just shoves like these weird like a, like things that are like in quotation marks anime at you. Like, God. oh man, we got introduced in the first like minute that the main character scared of bugs for some arbitrary reason. Oh no, <laughs> when he sees a bug, he gets really scared. I wonder if this is gonna come up for every episode. Frog, he's scared of bugs because he fixes robots, and robots have bugs in them. Oh my god. That's stupid. I don't know if that's real or not, but that'd be funny. <laughs> Within 10 seconds of meeting the first female character, he just starts groping her tits. I mean, to be fair, uh. No. God, I don't even remember her name. I just don't wanted be, to call don't her. Don't to be fair, that. Oh no. She, she got big old tittos, man, and he's never seen a woman before. Oh my god. Okay, this episode has already established that I do not respect women, okay? Yeah, that's true. true. I I don't, like, there's nothing I like about the show. Like, the only reason the Lucy character, I don't know her name, Rebecca. but she's Lucy. Yeah. Uh, fuck you for remembering her name. 
I remember it because it was like that's a really English name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that this character design always has a really Lucy name. Uh, I'm sorry, a really uh, a, a Western name. Sorry, I just called her Lucy twice. <laughs> Um, I was I, I liked one thing about the episode. I liked uh, I liked the main character's power, and I liked the way they animated it. Yeah, That's it looked pretty it. cool. I thought Michael was a Chad. Yeah, Michael he was. is a Chad. Oh yeah, Michael's also really good. Michael's a good character. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, wait to see him in the rest of the series. <laughs> yeah, no, he's also de- he, Michael's a pretty good character. He also dies in the first episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's like there's nothing memorable about this first episode even the end the end like so so the whole plot is that like there's this island and it's like a fan it's not a fantasy but it's like a fucking uh the theme park and it's all fantasy themed but with robots isn't that wacky and they fucking uh get a visitor and then the robots are like well we have to pretend to be evil for a while so that we can get the one human here to leave for no real reason yeah that was stupid they couldn't just tell him to leave, or like... <laughs> exactly, like just fucking, just say, "Hey, uh, you should, you should probably go." We, we have like, you, you're not, you literally don't do any repairs. We self repair. You're just a dumb idiot. No, we have to beat him up first. <laughs> we have to beat the shit out of him. And then, like, they leave and they go off into 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 their ship. But it turns out their ship is a spaceship, and it was all re- it was a fucking planet. It's a sci fi show. Even though it already had robots in it, so we knew that. <laughs> yeah, like, and they also explained that they were going to go to space in the first five seconds. Yeah, it's uh, not good. It's really bad. Fucking, if you if you like this show, uh, you're probably twelve, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You can be twelve. I won't like you. No, you can't. Fuck you. Age, bitch. <laughs> Age faster. Just watch Fairy Tale. It's probably better than this. <laughs> Uh, no, it's it's fucking not. Fairy tales also garbage. Nothing this guy has ever created is good. Just listen to the OP for the American release of Rave Master. That's it. That's all you need. Moving on to the next show. It's one that I care about, even though I'm not watching it. Shaman King. So, uh, do you guys have any experience with Shaman this King? This is my first time experiencing anything Shaman King related. It was on WB Kids, right? No, it was on Foxbox. So Foxbox. I remember seeing commercials for it. Because all I watched Foxbox for was for Kirby and Sonic X. <laughs> yeah, those are the those are the two reasons you watch Foxbox, baby. Um, and so I saw commercials for it, but I never watched it. So this is my first experience with the show. Okay, so this is uh, a good. This is a fantastic ad- adaptation of, so far of what I've seen of Shaman King. I like how in forty seconds we get straight to baby murder. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> it Hell starts yeah, with a dude. spirit battle against a newborn From zero baby to baby small. murder in like 40 seconds flat <laughs> so here's the good thing about that that is <laughs> but one of the many reasons why this is like a really good adaptation is that uh that's not in the beginning of the original uh, uh shaman king damn uh the fact that there's like these two evil baby one good evil baby and one good baby is something that doesn't come into play until like the end of the series. So I'm glad they're doing... Like, they're they're foreshadowing. They're fixing things. They... F- okay. There's a black character in the show. His name is Choco Love. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, his, his... His, like... His, his spirit beast that he fights with is a, is a black panther. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, that's fine. He's, he's, he's from uh, Africa. Okay. Uh, and his design is based off racist uh, African uh, stereotypes. There it is. <laughs> uh, he has like these fucking he has like giant mammy lips. Uh, this adaptation uh, took away his mammy lips. Yep. <laughs> so it's a, it's one step forward, baby. One step forward. I mean, everything else about him sounded fine. I his for name's name. Choco Love. <laughs> Except for Choco Love. That part's a bit <laughs> weird, but they can't really just change his name. I guess they can. Yeah, they they could they could have just called him Chaco or or, or Choc or, 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 or fucking love I don't know he's he's a cool character though he's super cool he's one of my favorite characters he's also just really a racist stereo- oh there's another dude that is like ugh. it uh, I, I liked the first episode okay. I thought it was cool. yeah I liked it a lot it's definitely something like it's a shonen so obviously I need to see more mm-hmm. to really get a good impression on it but it was definitely not a bad impression um. It does like it does definitely feel like an old ass shonen when where when which like one of those manga where 
The, the, the Yuangaku did not give a fuck what humans look like. I love yeah. it. I love it so much. Where one of the main little kids is just a fucking little squirt runt little bitch with a, t- with a giant fucking head. He works, at the, he works out of the library and shit. Like, <laughs> oh my god. And then there's another kid in his class who's just a giant fucking ape with his shirt like open in the middle of the class. It's so funny. I love it so much. Unironically. Oh, it's ridiculous. And like and like I was like wondering like is that what the kids look like in this show? But then he goes to the classroom and he's dwarfed by fucking everybody. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. And it only gets better from there. There's so much like It's like one Shaman piece King. designs, but like Shaman King has amazing uh, character designs, except for Chuckalove and all the other like. There's a, there's a lot of racism. There's a lot of racism. Oh, there's boy. a fucking Native American stereotype. <coughs> oh boy! Oh, who's his his entire like uh like ooh he's basically just that one image of the crying uh uh, uh Native American guy when the trash is on the ground. But he's a cool character too. I hate it. Like all the characters are really cool, but then like, hey, I based off my all, all the non-Japanese characters off these really racist stereotypes. Uh, but okay, it's really cool though. Like it's exceptionally cool. <laughs> yeah, like this. I think the first episode doesn't really like for for a shonen show. I think the first episode does a really good job at like pitching you the show. It's good. And then there's like yeah. there's so much cool shit in it. Like there's a there's a character who who like is super weak and his ghost is his uh fucking his dead girlfriend who who like wheelchairs him around in a wheelchair cuz he's sickly and he's so sick and he, like kind of evil but then he becomes good. It's so good. I love this show. I'm going to watch it all when it's all out. I I not that interested in it right now cuz I I don't want to I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to just watch it weekly. It's it's one of those shows I love. I appreciate, so I want to watch all of. Yeah, yeah. And it'll probably be on Netflix like when it ends, so you can just watch it there. <laughs> yeah, in three years. <laughs> no, like it's a well, it's a Netflix show. Yes, but Shaman King is long. Oh. Uh, oh not no. as long as like a One Piece or anything, but like it's probably going to get about a hundred episodes. Ooh. They'll probably release it in seasons. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, next up, though, is, uh, we go from talking about ghosts in Shaman King to talking about zombie women in Zombieland Saga. The only women I respect. (laughs) Are dead ones. (laughs) (laughs) This is the only good woman's a dead one, am I right? As long as she can still sing for me. Uh, yeah, okay, Frog, you just, I know you watched a little bit of Zombieland, the original season, yeah. but you just, that is Kotaro, that, that, that's, that's his personality. <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, so, I'm the only one here who's completely up to date on Zombieland Saga, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites, I don't usually <laughs> like idle shit, but all the characters are incredibly, like, well-written and fun, like, in the, f- I think it's either the first or the second episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge, like we follow uh, the the Boncho character who is in love with this forty year old dude from whenever she was a kid, like before she died, and she literally confesses her love to him, and he's like, "Come back to me whenever you fucking got tits." <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, you're so cool. <laughs> Uh, and the the music this season, like, the music in the last season was pretty good. The music in this season is fucking bangers. After banger. Fucking, it's so awesome. I, I, I have nothing but positive things to say about it. I love this show. I did not watch any of the first season. I've only seen the first episode of the second season, and I liked it. I thought I thought it was really cute. You should watch the first episode of the first season, at least. It's uh, it's it's pretty good. I didn't do that yes. shit. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the really the really cool thing about uh, Zombieland Saga is that up to the release of the first season, all the marketing was like uh, like marketing this as a new horror show. Oh, that's good. That's what I thought it yes. was. And then like I kept seeing like pictures of it. I was like, wait, hold on, dude. The first, have you seen the opening for the first season? Because that shit's awesome. No, I haven't. Oh. The opening in the first season, like, the opening in the second season is pretty good, but the opening in the first season, like, I, anytime I think about Zombieland Saga, that's the song that yeah, kicks in my head. exactly. It's fucking grid. That shit's awesome. 
And uh, since I'm really the only one who has anything to say about Simon and Saga, uh, let's move on to another show that I probably have the only one who has anything to say on. The Pretty Boy Detective Club. The, the latest Nisio Eason Shaft adaptation. Yeah. This shit sucks. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck. No, it's, it's not. Awful. It's great. It's this so bad. Amazing. It's important. I, it's, yes. It's like... It's 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 visual assault on my fucking eyeballs every second of this goddamn show. Turn up fuck the fucking contrast. Turn down the fucking post processing. Shut. Stop putting fucking sparkles everywhere. No, the, the sparkles fuck are good. Seconds. Fuck I hate you. this fucking show. It, there, there are four. There are three slash four rules to being a pretty boy detective club. You gotta be pretty. You gotta be a boy. You gotta be a detective. Yeah. There's unfortunately, another... they're, they're, one of the rules is not be funny or cool. Also, the fourth rule is that you gotta be a club. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to own a club. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, it's so fucking funny that when if they only one of the rules that. was to be like a good show. It's awesome. It's fucking. I love this show so it's fucking, fucking much. Terrible, I like the long hair one. <laughs> I like the one that has. The uh, hair. It's okay, really Doku. Before you say anything about so, but about liking any of these boys, they are all thirteen. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> They're all 13 and fucking annoying, for that matter. Uh, fuck you! They're literally Actually, all just, like, like eccentric pieces of shit. <laughs> Who they're cares? Great. Who cares? They're, yeah, they're eccentric pieces of shit. They're literally, like, the fucking prestigious pretty boys It makes me academy. actually just want to strangle them to death. <laughs> I mean, nothing, no, no show on this list has made me, like, more angry than this one. <laughs> Well, and great. You, you, you. The show put you in the same headspace as the main girl. The main That's girl good. fucking is lame too. She's like, she I want to find a star. Like, who fucking can't? shut the fuck up? <laughs> okay, but in the second episode, it's it's determined that well, she she actually didn't see a star. She saw she saw a fucking uh, a nuclear explosion in space, and now the the fucking government's coming after her to try and silence her because she remembered she saw a nuclear explosion. It gets fucking cool. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not, this is going on the list. This is, this is going on the watch list now. It's fucking awesome. Like every 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 episode, I'm like, yes. The first episode is such a yes. waste of my fucking time. Man. <laughs> can someone just can Nobody you explain really to me good. like why this show is a visual assault at every second? And why it's like it actually hurts my eyes to look at? Because you have debilitating. Uh, a- no, it's ADHD. because they just turn the brightness up by like a factor of ten thousand, and the bloom up by a factor of six thousand. The colors are super fucking the muted. Colors what the are, fuck so are you talking about? Fucking over. This, this no. This is like is, you, you know what? Like how like uh, movies can like what's the fucking term? I, I actually had a. I was like I was saying this during the show. Uh, fucking use your words. No, good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Pretty Boy Detective Club. Good show. It's like, how can you... I don't know how you made like an animated thing overexposed, but you did. <laughs> I don't... Listen, I've watched a lot of episodes of this. I have i don't understand it. I think you watched like a shitty rip of something. No. it's the only way it makes sense. If the night sky is literally brighter than the daylight in real life, then there's a problem. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's just like... I'm gonna take a screen cap of what I fucking. I'm, I swear to God, <laughs> you're so fucking. You're so you're fucking. So this show so fucking. Terrible. I just sound pretty homophobic to me. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You just hate pretty boy. Yes, detectives. I do. I absolutely hate the pretty boy detectives. They're fucking terrible. This show <laughs> they're sucks. They're awesome. This is my official opinion, and it's the right one. Uh, they're they're good boys. Uh, they do good detective work. Also, uh, Stan, the main character, who. Mm, I mean, could be trans. I don't care. You could read that into it if you wanted to, uh, but, but you can't deny that the opening in this is an absolute fucking opening. It's fucking awesome. Like I every think- every single time the the blonde one does his little schmoovin' dance and with his little little wink, I'm like, yes, queen. <laughs> that that boy in the first episode on the beach, he's just going, he just going ham out on that beach. I love it. Good for him. I hate how many oh. fucking lens flares there are in every goddamn second. Shut oh, the good. fuck up. Look at this shit. It's so bad. <laughs> I'll look at your mom. <laughs> That's it. That's like, what do you mean, look at this? It's so bad. That's good. It's literally beautiful. Oh, my God, dude. It's actually the worst. <laughs> like, like, listen. The reason why it's so bright, I don't know if you noticed this. But the fucking moon is there, you fucking moon shit. That's not how bright. Oh, my God. It looks good. Oh, fuck. You're wrong. 
I mean, also like the fucking Saturn and shit. Also, like, like uh, also <laughs> every so fraction cringe. of a second of the show, there has like the shitty sparkle effect. Always. Yes, it's good. Always. Because <laughs> they're pretty. They're they are pretty. They are boys. They, they have detectives. to be fucking like literally shimmering to be pretty every single second. It's not even like I don't mean like shining as in like they're like light lighting effects on their faces. I mean like literally like a stock effect of like a shining star sprinkles everywhere every second. Yes, it's good. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it's I legitimately so loved it. I actually hate the visuals in this show. <laughs> they, I think they, maybe, maybe the reason I hated it so much is because the visuals wouldn't stop fucking assaulting me. Yeah, because you're ADHD. You're a dumb bitch. No, I like fucking. You know what? You know what? A good use of fucking like visual assault is to your eyes is fucking uh, Sarah's and my. It looks fucking amazing. I don't know what you just said to me. Uh, yeah, Doku. That's that's a uh, that's that's old podcast lore. Uh, Sarah's on my was technically our first uh, anime where we watched it all together on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, and it looks yeah, really you're good. wrong. Um, <laughs> and another show where you're weirdly wrong about is the next one, Mars Red. This one's I didn't even, I didn't even hate this one. I just thought it was weird. I thought it was cool. I watched. This, really I watched. Cool. I also watched this one today. Uh, How many uh, did you watch? I, I really adore this show. I've watched... I think I'm up to date on it, uh, or I'm behind an episode. It's it's so good. The uh, It's a show about vampires in 1920s Japan, and, and they're like secret police. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I liked the first episode a lot. It, does, it has a really cool style. I don't know how to describe mm-hmm. it, but it's cool, and I liked it. That's about I, it. I, I, I find myself, like, when, I, when I'm, like... Looking at the sh- sorry, I I, ha- I I got my COVID vaccine yesterday and I'm fucking out of it. <laughs> uh, I I it has such a like interesting style and the cinematography is super great. Uh, the the animation and uh, like the character designs are all top notch. Uh, when they have to be and when when they don't have to be, it still looks visually really good. And the writing is awesome. Like it's it's fucking awesome. Like it doesn't hold your hand. Yeah, it's great. I was like. I was interested, but I wasn't like. Here's okay. This is the the, way, the the first episode. I only watched the first one, so this is all about the first episode. Apparently, it's a little different after that. But I was like, but I can describe my experience that as I was interested, but I wasn't entertained. I think that's fair. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I think that's cringe. <laughs> I mean, I think you're cringe. The the first episode tells like a really like compelling story about a dude. Who uh, unfortunately sees his arranged bride get turned into a vampire before he's even got to meet her, and like it's it's very engaging the 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 like pathos there like when oh, in the scene where she's like she's she's turned into a vampire she can't quite control herself like she's not all there, and she just like confesses to him as the sun hits her and she like. When vampires, like, die in this world, they leave behind this fucking aesthetic as shit mark. And it's just in the middle of this, this fucking, uh, uh, like, uh, a walkway. And it just, like, the camera moves back from, like, an aerial shot. And he's just standing there throughout the day as everyone else just walks by as if nothing happened. It's so fucking visually great it's good i like the uh i really like the um the scene with the the twink in the theater yeah the scene's great the, the twink is interesting the twink um uh he you you could probably assume that that twink's uh probably a vampire yeah um i assumed that immediately <laughs> Yeah, like, are you kidding me? He's a blonde, fucking, perfectly, like, little child. In yeah, that's that's a vampire. If there's ever been one, um, it's he may not be a bad guy, which I like. I like that a little bit. Um, yeah, that's Mars Red. I fucking if you like vampires, if you like like turn of the century shows. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the show is probably just not up my alley. I don't like vampires very much, so it's like it's not like it's bad. I just don't like love it. It feels like it's uh, the setting that it's in. It feels like it's very much in that setting. I really mm-hmm. appreciate it. It does some really interesting stuff. Like, um, for example, one of the vampires is uh, he has a wife that's still alive, and he has a vampire teach him how to flit, which is like they don't call it flitting, but it's like whenever you move like suddenly, like you just like teleport, yeah, like flash stepping in Bleach. Um, and he flits in front of her on, like, uh, a holiday where you go and, like, say goodbye to your loved ones who have passed, and he flits in front of her, and he, he has, like, this heartbreaking scene where he gets to, like, talk to her for the first time since he passed away, 
and she just thinks he like she's hallucinating not like crazy hallucinating but like she's seeing his like soul as it's passing away and it's so kind of like incredibly heartbreaking it's fucking beautiful the show's awesome recommend it it's good <laughs> it's pretty okay it's all right if you like vampires you'll probably like it more than i did vampires and uh the the next show on the list is um uh, m- m- what is this madoka madoka magica this one i do uh, hate this one i actually do hate <laughs> No, we're talking about Fairy Ranmaru, literal trash garbage. It's anime magic might. No, no, it's yeah, not. It's it's, it's not that. Dude, uh, all this show, it's literally, it's fucking, it, it, it's Saint Seiya without the world building or the intrigue. It's fucking. I'm not there for any uh, of that shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm there for you're, the yeah, you're just You're just there for the cod pieces and the Shotokok, you fucking creep. <laughs> Th- I don't this like show, this one. Th- the whole thing of this show is that the fairy boys go to Earth and they gotta, they gotta uh, fucking who cares? It's not good. <laughs> it's so the first and the first episode was like they literally explained the exposition twice in a row and I my yeah. mind glazed over. I hated it. That was not good. Uh, the show like I don't think it's good, but, <laughs> but what but. like. You get something out of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> that butt's doing a lot of heavy lifting in this conversation. <laughs> Man, I just like if, if you like, just it's 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 a. Uh, I can see why Mike likes this show. I'm oh, sorry, not my, like, sorry. Excuse my moth, you. I see why Moth likes this show. See, yeah. Moth likes the show. Yeah. Now Frog's doing it. Now Frog's. Yeah, hey, hey, this listen, mixed up. listen. You do it way more than I do. I'm allowed a couple times. Um, I have bad brain disorder. Yeah, I have bad self disorder. <laughs> Anyway, I can see why Moth likes this show, because it requires very little thinking, and you just get to watch pretty colors. Um, <laughs> but, like, it's not even that good... It's not even that good-looking. It doesn't uh. look that good, either. Also, the character designs are bad. Um, I feel there's only, like, a couple that I really like. I like... I I don't know. I like, like, the skinnier dude, but... And, uh... I like them way more than their, uh, their human form than they do in their fucking shitty henshin form. We can disagree. The only <laughs> character design I like... Is the green haired Shoda's like uh tension form, but I feel like the cops are coming for me as I'm saying. Yeah, that no, sentence. you're not that's edit that out. You don't don't <laughs> don't t- l- 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 uh, listen. This is the first episode that's gonna have an editor. Oh okay, oh gosh, no don't <laughs> That's a bit don't actually edit that out. Fucking fuck you. Don't don't fucking tell my editor what to do. I do that. <laughs> fuck you. I, Frog, what, I gotta ask, why was Fairy Ranmaru so high up on the shit list? Um, because I think I'd have a lot to say about it, just because I thought I would. I'm really, now that it's here, I mean, I, I am crippled. <laughs> like, we literally watched this, like, an hour ago. Yeah, it was an hour ago, and I was yelling. Oh. <laughs> I was yelling very loud. Um, Frog had recently seen uh, fucking Madoka, and I... I knew he was gonna get triggered whenever they got to the scene that's just Madoka. It's just like a wannabe Madoka part with eyeballs and shit. And okay, to be fair, I laughed really fucking hard when the ghost of Twitter abducted our main hero. <laughs> that um, was funny. <laughs> and then there's also like uh, the moral of the story being uh, cyberbullying's okay if you do it against bad people. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the the main conflict of the first episode is a girl was cyberbullied by a sw- by one person with like a trillion accounts, and um, in the end, instead of like realizing her mistake, she just uh, gets a curse that internally cyberbullies her. Yeah, now she'll probably commit suicide like the other girl tried to do because that's great. Now it's all fine. What the fuck, man? Doku, defend yourself for liking the show right now. <laughs> you defend yourself for liking the fucking pretty boy shit. I hate this shit, man. That is that is a good that's a television good show. show. That's just a no. leg- like no. without without Up the pretty the wall, That's just a legitimately good show. Uh, no. I do not like Pretty Boy Detective Club because of the fan service. In I didn't fact, even think so. I think everything else about it's also awful. <laughs> Yeah, but the reason why uh, fucking uh, Doku likes Fairy Ramaru is because it's fan service. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even That's good. literally it. It's like... Yeah, it, 
it's not even good horny fan service. It's bad the horny fan service. Women, if you like this, like granted, no no fucking women listen to this. What am I talking about? <laughs> My wife will. My wife told me she will listen to this. Nicole does <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm not actually a misogynist. Nicole, <laughs> Nicole, this is Nicole. Doki's I need wife. you to watch Pretty Boy Detective Club and tell Mike how awful it is. <laughs> uh, I feel like Nicole. Nicole's will be with gonna this. fucking think it's rad. No, I think Nicole's gonna be with me on this. It's good. No, no, we I, we gotta make the, now we gotta make Nicole watch it. Fuck. Okay. Moving on uh, to a show called To You the Immortal. This I like this. One. This one's pretty cool. I liked it. Mike thought it was boring, I think. I thought it was boring. I was going to wait for you guys to talk, and I was going to say my piece like I normally do. No. I, I, no, you got you to go first. I don't think the show was bad. I think I knew exactly what was going to happen in it. The moment, like, the, the, so the whole story is, yeah. God created a weird orb thing to send it to Earth so it could learn what a human is like. Or no, so it well, could learn what, like... <laughs> reality is i guess it just kind of got i think it was just an experiment more than anything yeah mm-hmm. uh and it eventually ends up in the body of a de- taking like copying the body of a dead dog and then goes live with that dog's master which is technically dog cucking <laughs> oh um, my god and uh then like as soon as he gets there and like this one guy lives in a village by himself on like a fucking like Alaskan tundra I'm like oh he's going to die and the dog's going to take over his body and then I started looking at my watch No but it's uh, fine. That's fine to, it, just because you see something coming doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. I mean did you if you I mean it was pretty cool. I think the rest of the episode was pretty cool too. I think if they had gotten to where I knew it was going to go quicker, I probably would not have had much criticism to say. Because it's a visually a very pretty show. Yes. Yeah, it's very... The character acting in this show is probably one of my favorite looking uh, shows this season. Like, just because the character acting alone. Uh, it's really good stuff. There's a point where the the, the boy, who's, like, you know, uh, going to die, gets injured. His leg... You know, he dies, obviously. Well, you already said that. Anyway, um, his leg gets injured. And, like, for the rest of the episode, he limps... And yeah. it's, like, really obvious and well done that he's limping. And there's a shot where he gets up into his chair when he's really weak, and it's like, wow. That looks really cool. It is painful to watch. Like, when they get back to the yeah. cabin, and, like, just him, like, limping around the cabin trying to move around it, it's just it's so It's really, really well watch. done. Yeah, it's no, good. it's... it's And that's, like, that's what I think is the... That's the merit of the episode, Mike, is that, like, it's a visual spectacle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. But, like, I... I I like visual spectacle. We're going to get to a show on the list that's just visual spectacle. <laughs> uh, I like that kind of shit, but it's very subtle. Um, and and then not like 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 the the way you're describing the that character's uh, animations. It's like yes, I acknowledge the show looks amazing, but it 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 just if I can tell what's going to happen in minute four of a twenty four minute show. I uh, I kind of disengage. Now, granted, if if I then end up getting like subverted, I get drawn back in. But I I knew what was gonna happen. So even though like it's visually interesting and, and stuff's happening, I was kind of checked out. I think that the rest of that in, in the episode was kind of important for first of all fleshing out like a little bit of a character for the boy, um, and kind of understanding what position position he's been put in because that was like important. I think because it seems like the the the, the blob gets motivated by him to kind of continue yeah i think that was i think it was a good first episode because i think learning about the boy and like and it's like there's a genuine sense of desperation when he realizes everyone who like uh the base of the story is that like he's been left alone there because he was um, meant to take care of some people in this frozen tundra while a bunch of other people went off to find like a paradise somewhere so eventually you know after he, he couldn't make he couldn't save anybody else they all died eventually he's like okay me and my dog who is now this blob thing but i don't know that are gonna just go into the paradise ourselves and uh, you know, after a long journey of getting and getting hurt on the way with his leg and shit, he gets like a decently like long way and finds like the wreckage of the people who were who were going, and he's like fuck, and he doesn't even accept it all the way right away. And it's really cool. It's a really good like, it's crushing. It's like a, it's like when you find a corpse of an NPC you really like in Dark Souls. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like fuck. It's uh the scene where the dog he like. The boy like collapses and the dog just like picks up the collar and starts growling to like get him to get up. That's 
that shit's so good. <laughs> it's good, man. It's a good. It's a good episode. I mean, I I can understand where Mike's coming from, but I disagree. I guess. So this. Yeah, I don't think it's. I, th- that's the thing. I don't think it's bad. No, no, I know. Yeah, I, I get you. I just didn't think it was boring. I was pretty engaged the whole time, personally. Mm-hmm. This shit made me cry. Like this is this is the only. I okay, I didn't cry. That that's not... <laughs> but actual tears. But here's 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 the thing, Doku. Your little virginal little uh, anime baby. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen. Like I knew he was going to die. But it's just like when he walks out and just like everyone's there and the dogs there barking at him and it's just that that shit got me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just weak to animals. Why don't you go pet your cat, stinky Doku? I am weak in general. It is really easy to make me cry. Actually, that that's a, actually there's the second show on this list that made me cry too for a different reason. Just, okay, okay, I don't know how you. Okay, listen, I, I'm not like judging. I just like I don't have the ability to cry at first episodes. Like I'm not engaged enough at that point. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say I don't have the ability <laughs> to cry. It is think, actually really wait, easy. May not, may, not, may not be true. I think. Oh no 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 no. Uh, Asokan made me cry in the first episode. That was that's true. It's true. Uh, we should Doku. You should watch Azoken. Have you not? No. That's my number one of all time now. Doku doesn't watch anime unless I tell him to watch anime. Hey, Doku, watch Azoken. It's my favorite anime of all time. <laughs> uh, I will put it on the list after One Piece. No! <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit. You'll never get to it then. I only have 300 episodes left. Only? <laughs> oh, God damn it, you piece. I hate you, Doku. It's fucking Doku. You're such a garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is mean. Uh, speaking of shows that are our are, are faves, I, I want to talk about a show that is currently on my unironic like top five favorite anime list, and that's Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song. This shit's so uh, cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like the presentation of the first episode a lot. There's a this is like a, well, I guess give a rundown first. So basically the the context for the the the, 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 the concept for the first arc, which is the first two episodes is that a slave goes back in time... No, no, sorry. A black person goes back in time to slave times and uh, teams up with a slave in order to stop the Emancipation Proclamation from uh, being passed because uh, slaves having rights causes a revolution in the future. Okay, but now just picture slaves as robots and then you're good. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That's an important distinction to make because technically they don't have feelings until wait, later wait. Black, black people are robots black people are robots like i need to know but uh, the, 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 what, the robot what, what the fuck is this what? i i i need to know how based and progressive you are right now the robots yeah okay you're not Obviously. progressive then robots do have feelings you fucking cuck you not watch the episode. She wants to dance. She wants to entertain people. Granted, I, I also think black people have uh, human rights. It was there, there was no correct. There's no there was no correct one there. But black people as well have emotions and are uh, humans. Well, I mean, actually, she doesn't really have emotions. At least, at least in the first episode, she didn't really have emotions. She just follows protocol. Our protocol is make people happy. Yeah, but there. I mean, there is that one part where she like pushes down the the what is it, the prime minister or whatever. Well, yeah, th- yeah, she gains them in the, over the course of the episode, kind of, but, like, it's a development, you know? Yeah. In the very beginning, she doesn't. That's uh, that's cringe. Uh, it, you're saying that, though, well, they, yeah, she could develop emotions, but I doesn't mean she has them. I think <laughs> uh, it's kind of implied that the virus she gets, because she gets a virus pretty early on, and I f- so that, like, tells her to about the future and, and shit and i think that's implied to okay it's it's not uh, okay it's not a virus it's what? it's uh it's an ai from the future oh well, yeah uh and it it doesn't change anything about her until of a future episode where she asks it to download some combat us uh, there's literally a moment in in an episode where it tries to download something into her and she's like fuck you you piece of shit i don't trust you fuck you uh, but eventually, she's like, yeah, give me that sweet, sweet uh, combat data. I need to be able to fight bitches. And the action scenes happen. This is by, by the way, this is an anime by Studio Wit. Yes. Wit has two shows this season. It's It's got that Studio Wit fucking money, dude. Yeah. It, it fucking looks, looks cool. awesome. It... Wit has two, sh- two shows this season that both look incredible. Because they're Wit and they have magic in their pants. <laughs> Man, fuck you, Madhouse. Studio Wits. Uh, all my homies love Studio Wit. Oh, fuck Madhouse, dude. Oh, yeah, Overlord Season 5. 
Um, no Guns Life Season 7. So I watched this today, and I watched this and Mars Red back-to-back. So I watched Mars Red first, and I watched this. And the beginning of this episode also has the the the, diff, the widescreen aspect ratio. I'm blinking on. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was about to talk about this. This is what I was bringing up earlier. In the beginning of the episode, there's like a fucking UI on the screen that's that will be always there. And yes. it like has a, a widescreen aspect ratio for a while. Because it's literally a video feed. <clears throat> um, you learn that because a timer is going up, into a, up to a number. Uh, a time period, obviously. It's like a t- point in time. And as things happen in that in like that video feed, things like line up in different numbers and stuff. And it's really cool. You know, you realize that like the like the position tracker is positioned with um, like the main character, like the Vivi girl, like the Petsanimiki. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like whenever she moves, it, the number moves, and eventually steps onto like the same number as a different number, and it like blinks red. Like, oh, we got it. We got the match. It's so fucking sick. It's like that's a really cool. Like, I can't really explain it very well. You kind of just have to see it. Um, and, and honestly, it only gets sicker from there. Like, uh, the next arc after the first one, uh, she, uh, gets, uh, so after every arc, the, the AI from the future, uh, goes dormant until a new moment in the timeline needs to be prevented to stop the revolution from happening. Interesting. Uh, so it cuts to 15 years in the future and like everything's changed. Like, well, not everything, but a lot of things have changed. Like, uh, uh, robots ended up being able to have rights, but just in a different way. So it's, like, not racism anymore. (laughs) Uh, And she has to go into a space station that's going to be crashed by a robot that's going to set robot rights back uh, 50 years. And she has to prevent that. And the setup for what happens and how she prevents it is so fucking cool and interesting. And that's when she gets, like, the download of the, like, combat data. And you get to see fight scenes. And the fight scenes are are fucking awesome and there's like a, uh at one point a robot's like vocal cords gets fucked up due to like a, a a virus attack and like the effect on the vocal cords sounds so fucking perfect this show is amazing i fucking adore this show yeah it looks pretty cool uh i haven't watched anything past the first episode so i haven't gotten to maybe like the cooler shit but it, i liked what i saw yeah, that's my that's my swear on this. Like, I'm actually excited. Anything Wit makes, I will probably suck up with my my little mouth any day. So, yeah, no, it, I I can't recommend this enough. Like, Studio Wit stay winning. They literally have not made anything bad. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I guess you, you can argue season one of Attack on Titans a bit rough, but it looked good. It did look good. Uh, speaking of uh, anime, uh, I don't remember what that. I don't remember what the what the show is because uh, I have a bad brain. Mash, uh, Mashiro no Oto. It's the one about the dude with the shamisen. Yeah, the shamisen. Oh, this show's sick. Yeah, this show's really good. good. This show's good. I like this one. Um, it's good. It's like a <laughs> drama, I guess. Yeah, this is another one. Moth added later to the list. Might Ma- Ma- Moth recommended this one? Ma- yes. I said most of the ones Moth added were bangers. Yeah, it's weird. This is not a moth course. This is a show, show that all. moth would find really boring. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it has. It looks pretty. At least generally, I mean, there's, there's always exceptions to that rule. So maybe I don't know. Uh, the first episode, though, is like completely contained. Like, if you just want to get a taste of what this is going to be, the first episode has like set up, payoff, character arcs. Yeah. Like, it's really good. And it's a really good episode. The most fucking insane cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! And I want her to fucking it kill me. She's so hot. Uh, basically, oh. you should watch it because it's. Uh, I can't. I don't want to see too much about it, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like, even want to like spoil of, it. It's, it's. It is a. It's an anime about how kick ass the Shemison is. Yes. it's actually like it's. It is sick. And it, like there's. It's a. Uh, I can give you like a basic premise, I guess, without, without spoiling too much. Um. Guy likes to play the shamisen because his grandpa used to play the shamisen. Grandpa kicks the fucking bucket and he's like, fuck. This sucks. I don't have anyone to play the shamisen with. I'm going to go to Tokyo and play it there somehow and figure my shit out. And that's... And then that's wacky things ensue. Uh, it's really good, though. It sounds a bit boring on paper, but it's really good. It's great. Because it's just got really good character writing and stuff. And there's there are two times in this episode where he just starts shredding the shamisen, and it's, it's great. so good, dude. It actually sounds great. 
Oh, the first time where he sh- like it's because the first time he plays a shamisen, it's the first time he's played it since the passing of his grandfather. Yeah, and the sound that comes off of it is so fucking sad, and it perfectly syncs up with like the uh, the the female character in the first episode mm-hmm. who just found out that her uh, boyfriend was cheating on her. Yeah, and like they sync up in like this fucking beautiful way, and like when she was crying, I was like, I feel it. <laughs> It's good. Also, oh. I was wondering. I was wondering why the the uh, soundtrack had like a lack of Shamison, but it kind of needs to because yeah. if he yeah. did it without him playing it, it would it it, it that's a, it highlights the moments where it happens. And dude, when it happens, oh, like I absolutely I love the uh, sorry. I don't want to like spoil it, dude. If you haven't watched Mashiro, uh, Mashiro no Oto, you really should. Like, it's yeah. I, if I you was, like. Uh, musical based drama stuff it's uh it's good yep honestly if you like stuff like march comes in like a lion it's not as good as march comes in like a lion but it's still really good and it gave me like vibes similar to that i've never seen your lion april but i feel like this is a similar genre am i crazy yeah yeah march comes in like a lion and your lion april are like on the same wavelength okay yeah if you like those kind of shows you'll probably like this show Mm-hmm, definitely i i will probably pick it back up at some point or if someone finishes it and tells me it's based a clock uh but right now there's so many good shows this season that i uh i'm not watching yeah, it i i uh, i probably won't watch it until like it's done yeah i mean it might be like a backlog thing but it is good and it's like i don't want to like put it down mm-hmm. but yeah there's but the next couple shows on the list i think i put my our favorites in the last part at least my favorites anyway <laughs> um so these are the ones I'm going to be watching. Go, go, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Frog. You can do it. Go oh, ahead. yeah? You think so? Go ahead. You sure? You, yeah, Is that yeah. okay? I mean... Go. Yeah. Introduce the best show of the season now. This is not the best show. No, uh, okay, no, 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 no. Best no. show of the season? All right. Uh, Odd Taxi, baby. No, no, no. We, 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 we skipped one. <laughs> uh, no, go, go, go ahead. Uh, go ahead the next one is Bakuten. Yeah. Uh, also... Known uh, colloquially, 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 cockily, as a backflip with two exclamation points. It's about pretty boys doing gymnastics, and I like it. It's really fucking good. This is the other show. It that is made good, me cry, by the way. Why? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, I just think I understand the other one. This one, like, and it was like, not much happened in this one. Uh, I don't know. Something about the, the, the kid being really happy about joining the club. I mean, that's me. Actually, you know what? That's fair. I, I respect that more than the, the immortal one, actually. Because, um, <laughs> like, it's like just seeing someone be genuinely happy for, the, for, for like, is, 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 uh, is, it can be really good. So, yeah. I mean, I was moved too. I wasn't moved to tears, but I was, I was, I liked it a lot. <laughs> the show was so fucking good. Uh, <laughs> Are you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's, this is my favorite show of the season. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Um, um, I like it a lot. I'm definitely gonna keep watching it. I gotta show Gigi this one. I think she'd like it too. Um, um, the CGI dance that they do near the beginning of the episode looks so fucking good. It's surprisingly great. Yeah. Um, this is a really good use of CG. I think I, I still prefer the animated in 2D, but like I'm not gonna complain too much because it looks pretty darn good. Um, the only issue with it is that the models are are kind of like a bit weird. Yeah, they do a lot to try to hide it, but it's yes. kind of because it's kind of blurry and it has yeah every uh, every shot with them in it almost every shot is like a far away kind of panning shot mm-hmm. and it's uh and they kind of blur it a little bit for sure. Yep. At least the rip that I had, uh, I mean the very legal rip that I have was um <laughs> a bit blurry, so it actually kind of helped the experience. Yeah, I think my... that's just how I was supposed because that's how I looked on Crunchyroll. Oh, okay, then yeah, and it's great. Uh, the animation. In general, even when it's not CGI, it looks fucking great. Yeah, no, all the yeah. character acting, and I think you kind of need to have amazing character acting for a show about, uh, you know, an art of movement of body. Yep. So, um, uh, you know, luckily they got some amazing character acting going on. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of insane. Like when whenever you watch a show like this and it opens up, and one of the first things you see are CG animated anything, you're like. Oh, this show's not gonna look great. And then it the, it continues on, and all the like two D animation is like all really good and well directed as well. Um, there's a scene later, like pretty late in the episode, where there's a character just in the background. He's just doing backflips in the background, and you can see like his shirt just come up and shit as he's doing the backflips, and it looks fucking great. Shit. Yes, I, I do see your boner, Doku. I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> we went to make the same joke at the same time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, th- there's not much to say about this. If you like sports anime, like this is a fantastic sports. Anime. Also, the characters are great. It just, it just <laughs> yeah. happens to be about like rimna- uh, rhythmic gymnastics, which you may not care about it, but like it's gonna make most... you care about it. <laughs> exactly, that that sports anime, it will make you care about it. Me and Mike watched this together uh, a few minutes before the podcast started, and um, I was saying it. And, you know, if anyone who's seen Mob Psycho will will be happy to to hear that they, the team gives off the very same vibes that the, the lovely boys there do, in the body improvement. Yeah, they're they're so supportive of the new the new guy. I don't remember his name. Yeah, exactly. It's actually very touching. Yep. Much like Mob Psycho. We'll go watch Mob Psycho. What are you doing? We've already watched Mob Psycho. I'm talking about everyone else. <laughs> I <laughs> haven't watched Mob Psycho. Listen, listen, haven't to, listen to Mob Psycho, the best anime of 2020. <laughs> Wait, wait, and, uh, pause. Uh, did Joku, did you just admit to not seeing Mob Psycho? I have Psycho? not seen Mob Psycho. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that, you have not seen We Hate Anime's best anime of 2020? I guess not. I mean, I, I would have put did. Izokin up there. No, wait, wasn't Izokin uh, that 2020? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Mob I got Psycho that wasn't 2020. You, yeah, you know, you know, you're right, you're right. You haven't seen a oh, no, best, best of the 2010s. best anime of the decade? <laughs> yeah. I have not. Yeah. Best of the decade. That was what we gave it to. Shit, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Number two was Katana Gatari, because I'm based. <laughs> <laughs> and then we gave 2022 A's Oaken, which is also great. Yeah, um, you, you need to you need to fucking get on that, dude. Like, unironically. That that shows... A- yeah, Mopsleko is like my one of my favorite shows I've ever made. And for good reason. It's, uh... Anyway, we're not talking about that right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Doku. Doku's like a little anime virginal baby well, boy. Uh, we can, hey, that's okay. We can I mean, you got time. Stuff. But at the same time, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I, have, I really haven't watched a lot of shit. Gurren. Okay, you've seen Gurren the right? I mean, I've seen. Of course, I've seen Gurren Log. I have a poster. Okay, 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 I have okay, a Gurren Log. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, holy shit, man! Like over there. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go back to basics here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna go from backflip to an old man who absolutely can't do any physical activity at all. We're gonna talk about Odd Taxi. This is one of my favorites this season. This is great. It's so good. Uh, it's so good. This three anime stay winning. Moth made a comparison to the show that. For once, didn't sound insane. Uh, what was it? He compared it to Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Fuck you! I don't. I haven't. Okay, I haven't seen Breaking Bad. <laughs> I think it's just I in the way know. it's slow, but like good still. Like it needs it's, to be. Slow. Okay, so I don't want anyone to compare this to Breaking Bad ever again in front of me in my life. Not not because Breaking Bad's bad, but because that's a terrible comparison. Uh, this show is. Uh, it, it is a, it's so hard to describe. Like, this is a show that I was afraid would be an anti-frog show. No, no, I was excited with this when I saw it. The, the, the reason I thought that, though, is because it's, it is a hundred, like, it's 90% it's dialogue. Yeah. Do you think that's a problem with me? Like, I, 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 I'm, Kaiji is, like, one of my favorite things of all time. Yeah, but you're, you have, your ADHD is so fucking bad, you can't even watch a show about pretty boy detectives. It's because it's terrible, not because <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. I mean, I also don't like the way it looks. Like, uh, I'm I'm actually, though, I'm really pleasantly, like, surprised that, that everyone seems to vibe the show. Cause it's, it's great. It's a fucking sleeper hit, dude. Like, it's so fucking good. It's kind of like one of the best things come out in the season, I think. It's like, I only watched the first episode so far, but like, I, I was like, it's one of the only ones on the list where I, you know, I, every seasonal episode, I, I go like, watch at least one. And this one, I was like, I didn't watch any more yet, but as soon as I finished it, I was like, I want to watch more, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it seems real interesting. Uh, the, uh, the, the writing is, it's so is that good shit. <laughs> It's like it's the the character dialogue writing is like um, it's straight out of like a fucking I don't know man what's a good what's, what's something with good writing? <laughs> uh, yeah, Breaking we're, we're bad. on a podcast. We don't have a lot of you're canceled. You're ca- I'm I'm doxing you on Twitter.com right what's now. What's a good what's a, I'm trying to think of something else that like matches its level of like dialogue though. Like um, in anime, it's almost impossible to find. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm yeah. trying to think of other things, and I'm not really experiencing other things. And maybe like Community or something, or like Arrested Development, but like. Like it, 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 the dialogue in it just it feels so incredibly natural. Uh, you every single character who speaks, you get a feel for the type of person they are mm-hmm. just from the way they speak. 
Like it's it, it it's so Im- immaculate, and it's all framed around like it's it, a better comparison to the show would be like the fucking uh uh the the fucking uh, porn taxi show because uh, like it, <laughs> that okay never mind I'm gonna shut up no now. make your that's, fake that's taxi terrible. comparison fake taxi <laughs> it, it's just, it's fake taxi but a real taxi <laughs> real taxi that's just a normal taxi. <laughs> normal taxi but it's also a weird odd taxi it's 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 really good i don't want to say too much about it because like there's a big kind of reveal in the very first episode but uh what seems like it might just be kind of a disconnected thing of a string of events is quickly like it, that it makes itself uh obvious that it's actually going to be a very like driven narrative because mm-hmm. in the very first episode it's revealed that the main character is involved in some kind of case involving a missing girl i'm not going to say exactly why but that's something that's involved in there and, and they really haven't even like actually revealed like for all we know not actually involved at all i don't know it but it because like we haven't seen the missing girl yeah no now. but it's like heavily implied um yeah like it's not even implied it's basically just shot out in front of your face but like it's it's really interesting mm-hmm. uh also <clears throat> i th- we haven't mentioned but this is furries oh it's which is, it's, it's the most furry. yeah which is interesting. Uh, I mean, the I think style. this is like the, this is the difference between B stars and like uh, like where B stars is like obviously for furries, yeah. and this one's more so just an, like just animals. I think. Yeah, I think that's the difference here. It has a very distinct no. This style. is furry. Fuck you. I wouldn't say so. I mean, I'm sure furries will like it. I mean, I like it. I'm not a furry, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> frog, frog. You just went. I think furries will like it too. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, uh, they're two separate statements. Well, if I was a furry, I, I would not be furry. quiet about it. I swear. I would not be quiet about being a furry. I have too many furry yeah. friends to be ashamed of that. This, this show, okay, this show is really fantastic. It's super dense with text. And to really say too much about it, it would be like to spoil some really interesting things. Like, yeah. if you if you like really well-written characters... <laughs> In like realistic scenarios, but they also happen to be animals. It's up your alley. Yep. It's also got, like, oh, and the a, cast. A the cast is insane. Visual huge style, too, honestly. Like despite oh, yeah. how like simple it is in terms of like it's a, uh, you know, just like it's its presentation isn't like as 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 just uh, simple as like we're making it out to be. It actually does look really cool. Yeah, like. Uh, it, there, there are tons of anime. Like I, I'm a fan of Katana Gatari. Katana Gatari is a fucking show where sometimes it's just three characters talking to each other for 20 minutes, and that's not very visually engaging. Uh, but this show frames like their conversations in ways that are interesting. Like, yeah. like he he drives around. He drives a taxi. So obviously he just has really interesting character uh, conversations with uh, people who get in his taxi. That's kind of the thing, right? Like, it's a show that you it, that's, it relies entirely on its script writing um, and its voice acting performances yeah. it's... because of that. And it's kind of like how you need... It's, like, it's similar to how Bakuten needs to have, like, really good character acting because it's a show about, like, rhythmic dancing and stuff. Um, you know, the show needs to have snappy character writing because it's all about conversations. So, of course, it you know, that's what they put all their effort into. And it, and it worked really well. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, because uh, the scene where the guy gets into his taxi and he's, like, He's on Twitter. That scene starts, and me, I was like, I'm gonna fucking hate this guy. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's pretty alright. He's cool. He's kind of yeah, a, like great. a loser, but yeah, he's fine. <laughs> it's, okay, it's super cool, because, uh, like, everything feeds into itself. Like, there's a moment in that uh, scene where he's like, hey, I want to go viral. Like, Can I get, like, a picture with you and be like, yo, I'm slumming it, dogs. And he's like, fine, fuck off. And the picture that is taken happens to have a criminal in the background, which leads to, like, uh, a criminal organization finding out that he may or may not be involved with uh, a missing girl. And it it snowballs so perfectly. And it's so fucking engaging. And, And, like, even, like, one of the more recent episodes, uh, the episode before it, there was, like, a little bit of a car chase, and it caused, like, some asshole on the sidewalk to drop his phone as he pulled a rare gotcha. 
And then the steps out after that is his entire backstory explaining why that gotcha roll was the most important part of his life. <laughs> And him then seeking out and finding a gun to get revenge against the taxi driver for ruining his gotcha <laughs> roll. Oh, that's it's so, so good. Fucking, it's so fucking awesome. <laughs> I love this. Uh, the show's awesome. Uh, going from one awesome show to another, let's fucking talk about 86, dog. 86. 86. This. Uh, so, what... Uh, man, don't you love it when uh, your Aryan super colony starts sending out the Jews into battle and just like you get and you get to say that you don't actually have any casualties because they're considered less than human. But also in spider mechs. Yes. Yeah. Also, they're in spider mechs. Um, it's a white hair enemy people's supremacy. The show. It's literally an Aryan super colony. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, okay but our main character uh, doesn't like the racism. Yup. What? Uh, it's like Ender's Game, but... It's like, oh, fuck AI. off, Doku. <laughs> fuck off. And it, you say it's just like Ender, Ender's Game, except Ender's Game was unironically fascist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember the sequels? I didn't read the sequels, <laughs> they don't exist. What do you mean? Like, fucking, the, the Andrew Scott card was like, wait, you guys think this is anti-fascist? I'm gonna fucking prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I simply do not oh. see them. Anywho... This show is like I have one criticism of the first two uh, of the second episode, and other than that, I think it's like almost like perfect. Um, the second episode has like a whole ass scene where the main character, who's the only anti-racist, gets in front of a class and schools them about how racism is bad. Oh, oh god, that's not good. <laughs> that's way too on the nose. Yeah. I, I, I got that racism wasn't bad when there were racism in the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> And I also get that she didn't like racism because she was clearly feeling guilty about everything. And I'm like, okay, something's going to happen and she's going to like, you know. Oh, yeah. And that's already happened. The show yeah. is phenomenal. This is this is basically a good Gundam series. I'm really excited because this is like, I can't wait to see uh, her and the crew she's like with now fucking tear up the shitty Aryan <laughs> super colony society. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I'm, I can't wait to keep more, see more. I fucking Great. hope it doesn't go like a, a shitty centrist route where they decide to become. Oh my god! Can you actually imagine, myself. dude? Oh my god! Uh, All that. And, and if you're like, if you're a fan well, of white haired anime girls, give the show a watch. If you like the Aryans, because the Aryans are your pure white hair instead of uh, blonde, then yeah. Uh, Doku, what did you think of the show? I liked it a lot. Um, I, I really liked the main girl. <laughs> if that, she liked cake, and that was cute. She, she's very cute. She's, she's very adorable. Good, good, good little, good little Aryan. Yep. <laughs> and like how adorable she is makes the moments when she gets someone killed uh, really fucking awful. Yep. Uh, <laughs> like, cause, cause the whole, the whole premise of the show is that like the Aryans lead the uh, autonomous robots into battle, except they're not leading autonomous robots. It's, it's people. The, 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 the people are in the robots. Uh, so like sometimes her command like she there's a moment where she like she wants to be the best commander ever and so she goes and finds a map of the area where they're patrolling and but the map's like a hundred years old because of course it fucking is and she tells them to go into an area that turns out to be swamp and it gets one of them fucking killed and it's really heart-wrenching uh this show's awesome it's just fucking good it's really sick yep. uh, i really like how the first episode is segmented, where like the first half is just like basically just about her, and then mm. they spend the whole second half on the units and I building up the too. unit, like, and it's really good. <laughs> the rest of the show basically, actually, the rest of the show does basically that exact same thing, where it uh, it will show either I think it usually starts on the units. And then there will be a moment where uh, they're they're talking with her, and then it will like flash forward back to like everything leading up to that moment on her side, and it's really interesting because you get to see like the parallels between their shitty life due to the fact that they have been deemed non citizens by this ethno state versus her perfect pristine life where she has like all this fucking privilege that she. Like, like, she hasn't been able to, like, actually, like, address herself. And it's, like, there's a great moment, I think it's in the first episode, where, like, 
someone gets killed because of her action and someone's like, what the fuck do you know about us? You literally don't know anything about us. You just want to pretend to be nice. And it's so like, oh, that's fucking good. Yeah. That's the social commentary I like. I don't <laughs> like it when you tell people not to be racist in a classroom, like a fucking... Yeah. I also like it how, like, some of them were, like, so in, like, uh, like so, uh, you know, it's it's not good, but, like, uh, it's interesting that some of them were so convinced that they were actually lesser humans that were like, just thank you for treating us so well. Yeah. You know? It, it, there's different like there's different perspectives on it, which is interesting. Oh yeah, no, it's this show is incredibly interesting and complex. Uh, if you like, and, and the and the 3D mecha, mecha action actually is really good. Um, they're more tanks than anything, but they're spider tanks. It's super fucking cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Go to the show, watch it. Going from that to another show that uh, we all like, and it's I know the top Goku... three biggest. The last is my favorite three shows. There's, I made a list this time, <laughs> uh, and I'm surprised because I know you don't uh, you you don't care about Godzilla, you don't really care about Orange, and you you, uh, what do you love mean about Bones. Orange? I okay. The, this show is Godzilla Singular Point, uh, a, a co-production between Studio Orange and Studio Bones. I love Orange. Uh, I know. Yeah, but I told you I told you that this show was Studio Orange and Studio Bones, and you're like, I don't care, and I was so fucking I mad was, at you. I was probably just, like, joking. Because you know I love Bones, like, to death, because they made some of my favorite things ever. And I love Orange, so, yeah. No, I was looking forward to this. This this shows the bees, knees, the legs, and it's the arms. Really it's really It's one of the best things to come out this season. It's got, okay, the first episode is it doesn't even have Godzilla in it, and it's sick. <laughs> the second episode doesn't have Godzilla in it. <laughs> And it's still sick, I assume. It is. Um, it's dude. just a ja- Jaguar at mo- at fucking TV show, baby. Whoever did the character design for this show, I want to hug you. They're all great. <laughs> They're all great. They're so good! Uh, the second episode introduces the goth girl. Oh, I don't even know about her yet, damn. <laughs> She's super good. All I know is that I like the 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 girl with the the the, the, the fucking cute girl with the glasses and the chubby hair yeah like the cute Ch- hair chubby <laughs> it looks very fluffable okay you couldn't remember her. the word fluffy and you're like oh, oh fat fat <laughs> she has fat hair I mean she would look cuter if she had like a tiny bit more chub on her on her bub but you know what I mean but you know whatever agree but also she's cute as a butt she's no she's like the cutest anime girl I've seen in like anything. <laughs> I, I will say this. I think it's weird that Gintama is the other main character. It's true. Oh, he's great, though. <laughs> but he's still great. great he actually looks better than Gintama does, because I hate Gintama. This show has so many random Japanese references. Not anime, not just tokusatsu. Like, it's all, like in the second episode, a, a fucking uh, uh, a reporter is like, hey, don't you think this shit's fucking sick as shit that there's, like, uh, rob- uh, dinosaurs everywhere? And the kid that she's, like, interviewing is l- literally just Luffy from One Piece, but a child. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's so good. And, and, like, it's all over the place. Even small, like, they, they there's, there's background characters that reference, like, fucking the, the, the son of Godzilla. A movie we all try to prefer- forget exists. The movie's not as bad as the two movies that come right after. <laughs> no, we gotta do some. We gotta do some Godzilla episodes, baby. <laughs> now that I got you here, um, oh, as this show's so fucking. Sick. As a huge Godzilla fan, I fucking loved this show. I'm not even a Godzilla fan. I just think it's really, really good. Um, <laughs> it's got a really cool first episode um, where, like. Uh, the main the, first, the main dude is like this weird like weirdo kind of really smart programmer dude who's also kind of a nut who's into like paranormal shit um, and they're like investigating a haunted site but he's trying to explain it like logically I guess and at the same time there's like this more like it's like science like studies girl who's like going over to check out like where the signal's coming from in the first place and they intersect in really in not a direct way for the first whole episode but they do interact um and it's 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 uh it's very cool. <laughs> and then the second episode reveals, psych, this is actually a mecha anime. Fuck you. Well, I mean, that's already in the first episode where they pull out fucking Jet Jaguar. Well, yeah, but it's been, it, there's more because there, there's an actual fight in the second episode. I'm yes. very excited to see that. I'm very <laughs> excited. But yeah, um, it's 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 bones animated and orange animated, so the CGI looks amazing and the 2D looks amazing. Yep. What else do you need to me to tell you? If Bones and, Bo- and Orange working together, it's going to be something amazing. <laughs> also, the ending is great because it just has a bunch of references to Godzilla. And I am oh, I haven't even seen the opening or ending yet. They're not in the first episode, nope. so I'm excited to see that. 
There's so much like there, there's so much love in this fucking show. Like this oh, is yeah. yeah. It's not on the same list as like a Mob Psycho uh, from Bones, but it's no, it's not it, like that high can, up on their priority list. But like, man, you can tell the people making it were like, you know what we love? Fucking kaiju, baby. Yeah. I feel like I this is like a similar level of love that like was put into like Kekai Sensei or something. Uh, okay, I I don't know if I'd go that far. Maybe not. Kek- okay, I don't know. I I just think that looks really cool. Kekai Sensen is literally the most like is literally the most beautiful anime. Like it's just so visually amazing. I think that and Mop Psycho were pretty much tied for the case, but yeah. Oh man, we gotta get Doku to watch some of these good. Man, things. <laughs> Doku, have you seen Kekai Sensen? Oh my god. Ah, uh, Do- Doku's a little virginal baby. All all, all he's Kekai seen Sensen? is Dragon man. Ball. I got I got we gotta watch Kekai. Sensen. The fucked up thing is I actually have seen Dragon Ball. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've already seen Dragon Ball. It's not, like, surprising. Yeah, but Dragon Ball's long. I don't watch the long stuff. It's not one piece. It's, it's like, it's long, but who hasn't seen at least some of it? Yeah, that's true. Literally, the only thing Doku has seen is Dragon Ball and One Piece. And those are the only, those are the two shows that Hey, picked, I've I seen guess. full, I've seen both Full No Alchemist series. I've seen Gurren Lagann. And I've seen Evangelion, like, 15 years ago. Damn, dude. Fucking underground. <laughs> Doku, Doku over, over here like, yeah, I have vanilla sex. What of it? <laughs> I've, I have seen, I've seen Boys on the Slope. I think that's like the most. Okay, that that the is, that is the most, that's a, that's a gay music anime. Yeah. Oh. You have, okay, so uh, Frog has not seen it, so I win. I win that one. You, uh, no, I mean, I have a lot more that you haven't seen <laughs> under my belt. <laughs> if you want to play that game, I can start pulling some shit out. To be fair, a lot of those things that you've seen that's really good, you only saw because of me, baby. Because I fucking drag you kicking and screaming into this fucking hey, I watched, podcast. A lot of stuff I watched, I watched because that's really good anyway. I would, I would have watched it because of you or without you either way. Some stuff you're right, but like a lot of stuff I would have watched anyway. Uh, God, but yeah, I, I, the, the last thing I want to say about Godzilla singing the point, I haven't seen Godzilla in the show yet. Uh, but it's the best Godzilla design. It's yes, they they released his, his design like a few weeks before the show actually aired, and it's so good. He got thick ass thighs. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking got that chunky bunky baby. Uh, but yeah, w- we're gonna go from Godzilla Senior Point to uh, SSS Dina Zenon. Let's go! This shit was cool as fuck. So I haven't seen Gridman. <laughs> Like any of SSSS Gridman. Oh, and I guess if you have not seen Gridman, go watch that and then watch this. We conf- I confirmed it. I was saying to people when it started, and Mike was doubting me, but no, 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 no. I was right. Go watch Gridman first. You need it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Doku, I just want I want to give you a little bit of a primer. So, SSS Gridman is based off of uh, Gridman, the old Tokusatsu from the nineties. Which you may have seen, because it came to America as the Super uh, Human Samurai Cyber Squad. Yeah, I didn't watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I mean, they uh, actually reference it in the name. SSSS is Super Human Samurai Cyber Squad. Yes. So it's like included in the middle there. It's kind of a cool... It's not like... It doesn't matter. It's just very, It's just kind of cool. Uh, but like, uh, it's, it's the first season I, I like a lot more cause it's, it's more Toku, it's Toku, you like Godzilla, Godzilla's Tokusatsu. It is, the first season is basically a 3D animated Tokusatsu for the first half and the second half is still Tokusatsu, but it's more of a traditional anime. It's also got some really weird trippy shit and I like it a lot. Oh, uh, and when you do, I, I just want to say Doku, when you do watch the first season, make sure you watch past the credits of the last episode. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Uh, also, don't be don't be moth and finish and and stop watching after episode five, which is literally the point in which uh, the, the plot kicks in. But he, I mean, Do, Doku likes Godzilla. Doku, likes I know, Tokyo, I know. I'm just, I so just, he's probably gonna vibe with it. It's like Samurai. I just mad at moth for telling it bad, despite not getting to the part where it actually gets like insanely good. Doku, I'm gonna need you to explain your words. What the fuck do you mean? It's like Samurai Champloo. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I didn't hear that. Wait, <laughs> It's open to interpretation. I love the part of Samurai Shampoo where they go into the computer and become giant robots and shit. It's so good. Uh, I fucking loved the first episode of this show. It's great. This shit is made for me. I. Lo- it's oh. it's it, Gridman is more of that. Gridman's like I like Gridman a lot better. Honestly. I think I, I personally I think I'm like I like Dinazon a bit more than Gridman. But hey, you know what? That's okay. Because I will. I really like Dinazon. It's great, Gridman. I like Gridman Dinazan's has thick thighs and big tits. Okay, that's what it is. That's I'm what lot, it is. Okay, I like, I I like the uh, the fighting. The, the, the combat is way more interesting in Dinazan on too. I think 
Um, that's just wrong. <laughs> I just I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, listen, take it from the guy who just watched. I rewatched Red Man right before watching Dinosaur. Yeah, and I'll take what you just said and I'll throw it in the trash because you're just wrong. No, a lot of the fights are just really basic in Gridman. That's fine. It's just like a lot of them end in grid beam, and that's okay. I'm just you know. Uh, yeah, because it's 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 a, it's literally it's a spinoff of a spinoff of Ultraman. Of yeah, course. <laughs> so that doesn't mean it's good though. It doesn't mean it's any better than like actually the cool stuff they do with Genesis on instead of for fighting, which is actually like, oh man, we have to actually strategize against the cool ability they have instead of just becoming more powerful. Yeah, but the animation's not as good. It's actually better. You look, you look so cringe. I just rewatched it. You're gonna you're gonna tell me that the fucking big plesiosaur monster with the noodly arms isn't based the shit? Go fuck yourself. I never said it wasn't based the shit. I just think I like this a little more. Uh, yeah, awesome. good. but Dinah's in on. Let's let's talk about. I okay. I'm making it sound negative. This is a fucking great show. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. They're both amazing. Awesome. I'm, not, I'm not trying to say bad about Gridman either. I love Gridman to death. It's one of my favorite shows ever. It's like a nine point five, but um. Wait, wait! It's like a nine point five. So you're saying Dinah's and on's a ten? Yes. No, it's like a nine point six. <laughs> I actually, I think Gridman's more like an eight point five. But like, uh, this is like a nine. D- Doku, I'm gonna need you to be- slide in my DMs when you watch uh, uh, fucking uh, Gridman because you're, you're over here with like Dinah's and on's the shit. I fucking I love. I, it. I need your reaction. Yeah, no, I've, I, you're gonna love the whole series. Like from Gridman to Dinah's, you're gonna love the whole thing. I can tell. Um, it's it's all it's all amazing. It's 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 it's, it's great. Um. It's it's cartoony, it's stupid, and it also much like Gridman, it's it's got this weird, awkward atmosphere and weird, like tense kind of dialogue to it. It's mm-hmm. it has it's, it walks this weird fine line that Trigger's been walking since the Gridman, basically. Um, where you they can make this everything feels weirdly tense tense the whole time <laughs> except during like, the like, except during the action parts um at, where, at like, all times right. whenever the characters are interacting you feel like a pin is gonna drop and something's gonna change yeah and they do so <laughs> oh and oh fuck do they Wait, ever okay. do pins ever drop Gridman, the pin drops so hard it kills a whole family of five. Yeah, like... Uh, Dinah Zenon, the pin drops and a nuclear bomb goes off. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. Um, it's great. I, I enjoy it. I think... Uh, I, but I definitely, like I said, as of the most recent episode, episode six came out today, or yesterday, sorry, as of recording this. I just confirmed you need to watch the first... <laughs> you need to watch Gridman. I was planning on watching Gridman anyway. I, I would hope so. You're not You're not going to... Just do it before you get to episode six. Um, well, yeah, I was not I was going to watch Gridman and then watch this. I wasn't going to watch them in tandem. I, I figured as much, but, you know, just let, let everyone know. Episode six is when uh, the link to the to Gridman makes itself clear. And when it happens, it's it's a pop off. Me and Mike and Enzo. I think Enzo hasn't been on this podcast, but he's from Foff. You know him. Um, if you've listened, to that's Fist of Film Reel. Uh, listen to that podcast. We're currently on hiatus, but we'll come back. We were we were all watching it today, um, together, and there was a reveal at the near the end of the episode uh, that linked it to, Gr- to the original Gridman, and we all screamed. <laughs> We were like, it was so insane. I, I, when it happened, I was like, I, my brain was reeling. I was trying to figure out what was going on because I, I hadn't didn't... been so hyped in anime like, like in so long since that happened. And like, I maybe like, uh, like what's the like, what's the like thing that like hyped me up since like as much as that? Uh, Isoka in episode one. <laughs> I, I will think Isoka isn't like isn't like a hype beast though. It's more like a it's it's incredible, but I wouldn't say I got hyped by it. You know what I mean? Like that that feeling of like whoa, like that. You know, maybe uh, like uh, maybe like Mob Psycho, I guess. If you're listening to this, ep- if you're listening to this podcast and you don't like Gridman, fuck off. <laughs> and if, you, if you if you if you don't want to watch Dino Zenon, kill you. Oh, I can't say <laughs> no, that in Minecraft. Can't say that in Minecraft. <laughs> Redacted. <laughs> kill your mom um, in Minecraft. <laughs> And we're going to go from that, uh, the hypest anime this season. Not my favorite, but definitely the hypest. One of my favorites. I, I, I put my two favorites. I couldn't decide between which one was my favorite favorite, so I just put them, like, I just put them in random order. Just because this one's last doesn't mean it's necessarily more favorite than Dinah on guys. Just saying. The last episode, or the last show on this list, Nomad Megalobox 2. Holy shit, dude. Uh, I didn't know what to think, man. What do you mean? 
Uh, when they announced they were doing a second season, like I loved the first season of Mega Bloks. It's incredible. Uh, Mega Mega Roblox. Mega Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> I love the first season of Mega. Uh, I almost did it again. Uh, Megalobox. Uh, I think it has problems. I think the ending's a little too abrupt. Yeah, there's uh, some issues with it, but it still has like a, an, an incredible, like really good, yes. like overall yes. quality to it. My one issue with Megalobox One is that uh, it's a bit rough around the edges in terms of production quality. Um, it does. It definitely see it seems kind of slipping away, especially towards like the middle half. But uh, the, the the cool thing about the first season of, of Megalobox is that it's a shonen anime tournament arc, and this is oh shit the shonen is has a pill addiction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Doki, you watched the first episode of this, right? But not the first season. Yeah. Uh, so I thought this was cool, but I ha- I didn't have a lot of context. Yeah, it's definitely something you kind of need to. It's definitely something a bit weird if you don't have the initial context, but it's still, like, I think you can still enjoy it, but it definitely doesn't, like, say much to you. Yeah, uh, so this is definitely something that's, like, I need to watch. This looks interesting. I should watch the first season. Yes, you should. It's very good. Um, but I guess, like, what I can say is I'm not going to spoil the ending of Megalobox 1 just so, um, or anything from Megalobox 1 for that matter, just because Doku's going to watch it, but basically, um, it's weird to see a character we had who had risen to such high heights, be dropped down so low again. If that's basically the concept of season two. And it's, it really hurts to see, actually. It's kind of painful. Season one was literally his rise to power. And then to see him where he's at now, it, it's disheartening. Yeah. And it's, it, he's fallen really low. And, like lower and to, than he ever to has be been fair, the first that, season yeah. totally set this up because uh, Doku, the, the whole concept is that it's, a, it's robot boxing. And he's all like, nah, I don't need robot arms. And he's the only boxer that doesn't use them. Uh, it's That's fuck. Cool it, it leads to some of the hypest moments, but because it of is. that, like his fucking joints and bones are shattered to shit, so he gets addicted to pain medication. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it so, is. It's, this show is... It, it, there's not much to, to, to say other than like... I think you could watch it without seeing the first season, but you need to watch the first season because. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like, much like Red Man. It's it's, no, it's like no especially party. when it gets to uh, the first arc, uh, you wouldn't need it, but the second arc is literally, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna stop. I, I'm already stopped being washed up. I now have to make amends with the people I've hurt, and he goes off back home, and uh, that's gonna be painful because this bullshit happens. It, this. Oh, the show is amazing. It looks phenomenal. All the the characters and the music, it's all... Mm. Like I said, the first season on the animation production scale, a bit rough, but season two does not have that problem at all. Um, wow. <laughs> the backgrounds... I mean, the backgrounds in season one were also amazing, but like seeing them again is like... Wow! I miss how the show looks. I feel like they, they even like touched the grunge up even further. Uh well, like, there's that moment in the first episode where he, like, takes the grease off of his gear and rubs it against his face. Yeah, yeah it's good. the first season was grungy as all hell, and this is, like, just cranking it up another notch. And it's like, this place is, this this whole show is filled. Also, the, the first arc is, like, every, like, 90s sports anime you've ever seen about having to save the dilapidated building from the racist businessman by winning a tournament. And it, it that it's Kino. <laughs> it's always, that's always yeah. good. <laughs> And, and the racist businessman has this tiny annoying dog, and when he loses, he angers the tiny annoying dog, and it runs away from him forever. Yeah. The fucking wolf from the first opening in the first season is in the first episode, and it's like a symbolic thing because he was the wolf in the first episode's opening, first season's opening, and then the wolf. Slight spoiler for season two. The wolf's dead in this one because he's fallen so far and his spirit is dead and crushed. And I'm like, oh! There's literally, like, I... There are tons of anime this season that I'm watching and I have criticisms of. I can't figure out anything I don't like about Megalobox season two. It's better than the first one by a country mile. And the first one's already really good. Yeah, and the first one's great. Go watch Boxing Time. It's very yummy. Did you just say, Um, wait... Did you just say it's very yummy? I've been saying that a lot lately. 
You can like quote ask Gigi. You she'll, she'll let you know. But I'm gonna I've been like saying message her and and uh, get her to like get a spray bottle. And every single time you say that, dude. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, what do you think about it, Doku? Like, I mean, it, it's, like I said, you didn't really understand a lot of it. Yeah, I it, thought it was, it's a bit. I said, I was, I was, context required. I just thought it looked interesting. Like, I can't really say much about that. Besides, I thought the fight was really fucking cool. The, the fight was really sick. It was actually like the fight. That one fight looked better than all the fights in season one. To give you an idea, oh. um, not to discourage you from watching season yeah. one, but I yeah, gotcha. it's just that the progression got kicked up a lot. Uh, also, Joe is a fantastic character, and I'm really excited to see his progression and also how far he's oh, fallen. So, I'm so sad. There's, there's a there's an amazing. I think it's the second episode where he just spends the entire episode detoxing from the drugs. Yeah. Um. Yeah, D- Doku. Like, here's here. I'll sell you on this. This 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 show is yes. classism. Oh, good. And the big, <laughs> it's the whole thing. You're, it's really good. It's a really 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 good commentary on classism. Yeah, it's a really just insanely good like uh, commentary on classism and racism and stuff. Big fan of those. It also two has things. a lot of like weirdly like uh, Spanish vibes, which is cool. It has like that kind of Mexican like look to it and feel. They, even all the all the message all the all the episode intros and names are titled. In uh, yeah, no. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, the very the the, it, it, the very first arc is literally. Uh, it's 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 so like there the only way it could be like more obvious like uh, immigrants are are actually based uh, actually was if the villain looked like Trump, like <laughs> yeah, it, oh, it's. And and if it and if the villain did look like Trump, I'd be like, "This is too on the nose, guys. Just chill the fuck out." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be annoying. <sighs> uh, yeah, uh, it's really good. I, I debt debt. She's like the biggest fan of this series I've ever seen, and she hasn't even watched this yet. And I'm actually mad. Yeah, uh, cringe, uh, debt. You're. This is why I don't respect women on this podcast. I'm gonna make debt listen to this, and I'm gonna tell her, call her a dummy. You're. Dummy. I'm gonna dox her on Twitter.com. <laughs> I'm doxing everyone. <laughs> this, this is the We Dox People podcast. She was the one who like convinced me to watch the first season, and now she has. I'm actually mad. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show uh, Doku the opening. Yeah, uh, one, this so has this. been you know the, the seasonal show. What 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 are what yeah. would you say of the shows yeah. you watched are like the ones that are your favorites? Yeah, you go first, Doku. Uh, obviously, Bakuten or Backflip is my favorite mm. show of the right, season. Yeah. Uh, Arkton is going to be really good. I can tell. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan it. of sports um, anime, so I'm stuck between Dinazanon and. Now, and it's pretty good. So you go first. Uh, said, uh my favorite's got to be tied between Dinazanon and Megalobox, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick one because they're both really great. But uh, I'm also going to keep my eye on Odd Taxi and Godzilla and 86 probably too. You better fucking watch Vivi, bitch. It's a witch show. I'm definitely going to watch Vivi, but Fuck it's like you. lower on the priority list for now. Uh, is there anything else okay. you like uh, really dig, Doku? Oh, um, I said uh, Bakuten. Oh, I'm looking at this right now. Oh, yeah, Godzilla. Because <laughs> uh, Godzilla's great. Uh, so uh, I just want to say, I think, you know. Yeah, there's basically. I think we're two. all sleeping on Eden oh, Zero. I, I think that's really the standout of the season. Oh, Fuck. that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> also, we did. I was really hoping Cestus would but, make a comeback. Uh, I did watch. Throw the world ends with you. Oh yeah, I haven't watched that yet either. How is that? Yeah, it's good. I think I've only seen. The oh yeah, there first is an anime for that. Isn't I haven't there. had time to watch the second one yet, or any of the other ones. But I think it's a really like, like it's a good way to watch to like experience the story if you don't like that gameplay. As far as I've heard, most like don't most of those like RPG adaptations kind of suck, like the Persona of animes and stuff. Most of them do, yes. <laughs> but the world ends with you is pretty good. The animation looks really good it's really it's okay. it's really stylized i know gg really likes the world in the yo gg pog i bought her the um the remake but they didn't buy it because it was like too expensive or something i i well like that's that's amusing i bought her a gift card to buy it but apparently it was more than it's like 40 fuck it's like 40 60 bucks in the Canadian dollars, it's, it's like 70. It's, it's a bit too much for for a port that's not not a good port but an okay port yeah, like uh, I'm so uh, I'm so tired of Nintendo. Nintendo re-released the Miitopia for sixty dollars. <laughs> Dude, they were releasing Skyward Sword for sixty dollars too. What the hell? I'm so mad. Dark Souls is still fifty dollars on fucking <laughs> Switch. Oh my god! 
It is. You can buy it for twenty dollars on Steam. Oh. But yeah, everybody, this has been the We Hate Anime Podcast. The first episode to hit two hours in a long fucking time. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're not there yet. We're at fifty six minutes. <laughs> Oh yeah, fuck. We're, we're, we're actually fucking, behind my uh, little, little bit. No, 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 close, stop for time, stop for time. I, I need to, I, I need to hold this over, mom. <laughs> well, we, well, we got to do plugs anyway. Um, yes. Follow Mike. You should follow me Twitter, at Twitter at any Mike Uh Links in the description. Also, um, we are totally have uh, an official podcast Twitter account. Uh, oh yeah, we made that like. Well, Mike made that like a little while ago. We haven't yeah, t- no, we, posted. We it haven't. Um, haven't. You can follow it at uh, We Hate Anime Pod One, which I'm probably going to change to just We Hate Anime Pod. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> or can we just do We Hate Anime? It's the only it, one. It, that's where like you, no longer do you have to suffer with my inane uh, political postings to keep up with the podcast. Uh, and, and everyone has access. Oh, we to Hate Anime it, already a... exists as of January 2015. You hate it. I was looking. I was looking up for uh, We Hate Anime on the Twitter account, and it's, it exists, and it has it hasn't created since twenty fifteen. <laughs> yeah, I saw that listen, the other day. Listen, I I've been keeping track of of the of the Twitter account. I at I hate anime, and as soon as it's fucking gone, I'm fucking taking it. Fuck you. That's my. That's me. I am that, not you. You've been tuning <laughs> since twenty sixteen. Fuck you. Twenty. The We Hate Anime one's even older, dude, and, and it's just act, it's, it's actually just like three tweets about hating anime. <sighs> Like, like, unironically. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, why don't you plug yourself again, uh, Doku? Oh, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at SudokuFGC. Uh, you can also check out my Twitch. I usually try to stream uh, Friday and Saturdays and Sundays. Um, it's, uh, twitch.tv slash Sudoku5. Yeah, really, really good, like, mm-hmm. he, honestly, I got, when I tuned into the, the stream when I had the time to... It was really fucking. It was funny. It was you. You're really entertaining. I watched him play Ultra Kill. It was good. I, I wish he was better at playing. Ultra uh, Kill. I, I. This is coming from someone who has like 50 hours in Ultra Kill, though, so it's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I was really bad at Ultra Kill. <laughs> no, you were not bad at Ultra Kill. It was just like you. It was like uh, you were actually pretty good. You actually got the shotgun parry down pretty fast. Pretty fast. So. That game's fun as fuck. I want to play. I need to play that more. It, dude, they actually added like a new uh, content update recently where if you get perfect on all the levels, you can like a secret door and get an optional boss, and it's like insanely yeah, hard. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I'm, I absolutely am doing that shit. I just have to get all the perfect Frog, stuff. why don't you plug, like plug yourself, you look fucking bitch. Follow me on Twitter, FR0GK1NG, Frog King with a zero and I instead of an O and an I. Oh, yeah, zero to one. You know, it's, not, it's in the description. <laughs> um, also, I'm probably maybe working on a new video. On the YouTube channel, but you can just get it from my Twitter. Yeah. Anyway, so it's okay. uh, and uh, I, I, this was a very good episode. I like this. Uh, Doku, it, it took you fucking forever to get in the mood of it, but when you were in the mood, you got that. <laughs> why are you pulling him yeah. out? <laughs> I, of course, I'm gonna call him out. Fuck you, Doku. You did good. I'm proud of you. But also, you're a <laughs> stupid bitch. I thought you did. I thought I did it pretty good the whole time. Uh, you're, you'll get, you'll get used to it. No, Doku here is gonna be a reoccurring guest, so we're gonna have him back. Uh, and I, I once he's tomorrow. once he's comfortable with it, we're gonna like, have another episode. Of you'll be able to enjoy him instead of cringing at him like I did the entire time. Hell yeah! <laughs> Get ready for the X Arm episode. You're not. Yo, wait. Are we gonna? We haven't. I only watched one episode of that. Oh, we no. got the Are whole you thing. You guys going. gonna fucking make me? <laughs> <laughs> we still gotta watch Kaiji, uh, man. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we're not gonna watch X. Maybe, I mean. <laughs>